Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whenever you are, wherever you are. Aloha, this is Manny from Good Dog Press, and welcome to my computer room. It has been a crazy week. I haven't been on very long. Work comes first, and you got to do what you got to do at work. Oh. I I did miss a lot of the opening ceremonies for Tales from Beyond the Gate, but hopefully I can make up for it this week. And believe it or not, I have somebody special with me. Somebody from the cold north. How are you doing tonight, Mr. Rick Piper? Yay! I am doing good. Very good, very good. It has been for being coming a productive week. I've got my items ready to go for tomorrow. And they're getting a few little extras. So that I've sold up my auctions. Well, my auctions and uh, my cast mailers as well. Yeah. I, I, I see you you stepping up to the big time now. Hang with Mike Miller. Don't want to hang out with Good Dog Press anymore. What's up with that, Cross? <laughs> hey, I'll hang out with you anytime I can. Anytime. Uh, can. Uh, unfor hey, unfortunately, we are five hours <laughs> away. And probably in a month or two here, we are going to be six hours apart. So yes, that'll we, make it easy. Yeah, but you that'll know, make you know, the funny part is next week, I'll be in your same time zone. Ooh. Ooh. Going to visit the missus? <laughs> no, 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 no. I wish that was it. No. Are there other are there, are there plans for me to, to go to the East Coast? I don't want to go at this time, but I got to do what I got to do for work. Okay. Uh, let's, see, let's see who's in our, in, our, in our chat tonight, Mr. Piper. Oh, man. Who's the first person here? We had the Unbreathable Skunk Girl saying aloha to everyone. Aloha, Miss... Ms. Unbreathable Skunk Girl, I love you, honey. Out there supporting me as always. We got Cross Comics was in the chat for a while, but now he's up here with me. He's telling good evening to the Skunk Girl. Uh, Hope Fire was in there going, hmm. Yeah, I had a, have a little problem with my mouse, but never fear. Don't have to worry about the mouse. I got a stylus, so that's why I'm using a spot, stylus tonight. Uh, B&O Art Outdoors saying, so coming over here and giving us some love. Hamilton Family Vogs is in the house going, hello, good dog. And Pope Fire saying sup also. ERT saying sup. ERTs is having fun going cross country. He will eventually be on the West Coast with us. He'll be a little bit closer to us, which would be awesome. Uh, we got Bethany in the house saying, hi, everyone. How you doing, Bethany? Oh, Pastor for Drawing is out there. How you doing, Pastor for Drawing? <laughs> Alrighty, I should send Pat. I think I sent Passion the, the link. Let me go make sure that I can send Passion the link in case he wants to come on. There's no pressure, you know how it goes over here, right? Rick, do yeah. I pressure anyone? Don't pressure, no, nobody. not usually. Not usually. <laughs> only person I only person I <laughs> pressure is Rick. Rick, get here. <laughs> Yeah, just so no controversy comes up over the nature of the relationship between Cross Comics and Good Dog Press. People like to talk and make assumptions. There's nothing going on between me and you. Never has, never will be. That's the funny part. It's like me and Rick go back a long time. You know, Rick was the first show I got on. Start honing my skills. <laughs> Bouncing. And and of course i encouraged him to start doing his own live stream as well yes yes rick was the one that kept on telling me what are you worrying about this just go do it do it i'm like rick i'm not ready i'm not ready do it manny do it i'm like okay finally him and john pestered me into doing my own talk show and there we go wasn't it, wasn't it me and tank you tank and john all 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 three all three of you guys yeah we was the four four amigos Doing doing stuff on your show all the time. Yep. <laughs> ERTs is saying good dog press sniffles. Yeah, unfortunately, ERTs, I'm not hundred percent. I'm maybe about 79-80% right now. But you know what? Sniffles and all, I'm gonna be here. I don't know how long I'm gonna blast. <laughs> I need somebody like a ERTs or a Risey Lee to talk for me, but Especially today, <laughs> yeah. but we'll see. Well, uh, Pastor said, I, 
As long as the chat can be a little bit active, I've got it right in front of me, so I can, you know, look at that and hopefully respond to that for you. Cool. Uh, Passion says yeah. I, I can't make it, but I may have a stream to be on soon, but I'll hang in the chat. That's cool, Passion. Uh, Joshua Hughes says, hello, everyone. Hello, Raven. Uh, ERT says, what? Joshua Hughes with a wrench? Oh, ERT, he's had a wrench for a long time. He has not lost it yet. Uh, Breathable right. Scope Girl says, Aloha E, hope you're ha having a safe travel. Yes, everybody's hoping that you have a very safe travel there, ERTs. Uh, ERT says, I am having decent weather thus far. Dude, I am ready to start streaming again. That is so awesome, E. And Joshua Yu says, ERTs, I know it's a miracle that I've kept it this long. <laughs> yes, it is a miracle that you've kept that wrench this long. Uh, ERT says, it's only 7 p.m. on the West Coast. Yep, and it's 5 p.m. for me. So when you get to the West Coast, it's going to be awesome. Myself, ERTs, uh, Josh, Chris, we'll have, our, we'll have our little drawing sessions. We'll start, start that up again. All righty. That passion, I'm feeling better. I'm getting there. It's funny. I keep on moving my mouse, and my mouse isn't moving. <laughs> Where's my stylus? All righty. That's something you should start thinking of doing. Maybe doing one or two um, pinups a week or whatever. I know you don't do a lot of that, you know, traditional. That way you can come on and maybe sell some of your artwork on the auctions on Sunday night. We are moving them to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. How, how was your auction last night? Because, dude, I was out the last two days. I was in bed the whole day. Uh, yesterday, I woke up. I felt okay in the morning. So me and Pope, Pope Rogue, we went off to church in the morning at 1030. Got home. I crashed the rest of the day. I was out. By the time I woke up, my wife called me. Oh, yeah, Cross has an auction going on right now. I'm like, huh? What? Huh? <laughs> I was gone. It went pretty good. I went just over an hour. I sold two pieces. I sold cool. a I sold my Jasmine that I did at, on John and Quarter fan edition. And I sold that to Miss Gaming the System. Awesome. What you got and, for that, Jasmine? Uh, I got that for twenty bucks US. Oh, she got it for twenty bucks? That was a steal. Yeah. Yeah. It was and I colored it today on my stream for her. Awesome. And and then I got twenty five dollars for the last judge, John Dillard <laughs> character. Um and uh, JP four bought that for John Dillard. So they end up going to the same place. So cool. that saves on shipping. Cool. Very good. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm I'm seriously I was like in bed. It's a three day weekend and I get to stay in bed. Yay. I got to watch Westworld, though. That was pretty good. Yeah, it was a three-day weekend here, too. Uh, we had, about, I don't know, five, ten years ago, we got a new, well, no, probably closer to ten or more. We got a new holiday here in Canada called Family Day. Family Day? Family Day? <laughs> I'll see somebody out in the chat. Hopefully, he'll come on. Hopefully, he'll help us out. Because I know this guy can talk for us for a little bit. Oh, Niobe comics. Niobe. Niobe. Yeah. Niobe out here. Another Canadian. Uh, hey, I like Canadians. Who is who said I didn't like Canadians? <laughs> I didn't say you didn't like them. I'm just, you know. You uh, see that? Saying, well, out there what saying number are you on your chat? <laughs> see, uh, <laughs> Niobe said, "Send me a link. I already sent you the link, Niobe. Get your butt up here." <laughs> So I can rest my voice a little bit. I, t I told Cross before we went on today, I said, Cross, I want to go on tonight, but I don't know how long I'm going to last. <laughs> it might be a short night. If I can't talk, if my voice starts getting worse and worse and worse. <clears throat> oh, we got Oatmeal in the chat. He says, where is Josh Chris, the best artist ever made? I agree with that. He is one of the best artists ever made. Why would yeah, I you would say there's only one better, right? Yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's what this what this is what Good Dog is all about. You guys know that. It's just a hub. All us artists come over, draw, have fun with each other, and talk about stupid things about comics. Uh, Naomi says, laugh out loud, cool. Yortiz, Canadians, bah! laugh out loud. Uh, and Naomi says, I just got into work. Yeah, he'll be I'll okay. Be in on a few. Yeah, he'll be here. Oh, there's our, there's our friendly neighborhood Australian. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, my Lord. The savior. The savior of us. Thank you. Thank you, Risey. As I'm you just can, pulling as, up chat now. As you can see, good dog is sick dog. <laughs> what am I doing here? Sniffle, sniffle, sniffle. I know. You're wearing yourself thin. <laughs> I, I, am, I am eating. I'm not, I'm not sucking on. I am eating cough drops right now. I mean, oh. I think I went through like 10 just, this, just now. I'm just munching on them. <laughs> you should get yourself some um orange juice oh no 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 you know what i'm allergic to orange juice i get oh. more sick, believe it or not it's weird and i found that out like about 20 years ago because i used to love orange juice and vodka and every time i drank orange juice and vodka i'd get sick i'm like what the heck is wrong with this orange juice is supposed to be good for you except for me <laughs> that sucks, yeah, man. I love it. Is it OJ. something to do with the citrus, or I don't know. It's every time I drink orange juice, I get sick. I'm like, I think I should not drink orange juice. Maybe I'm allergic. I've never went to get uh, tested. It's just a theory of mine, and so I stay away from it because every time I do it, I get sick. My my throat gets sore, and I'm like, something's wrong there. Uh, uh, lemonade doesn't affect me. Lemonade is good, uh, but orange juice, weird. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't like that when I was a young kid. It's just within the last 20 years. So it's kind of weird. Uh, Maybe something you, okay. you uh, developed into. It's like uh, where as a kid, I, well, well, late or just before my early teens, or I developed a bee allergy, a bee sting allergy. And they say you can grow out of it. And I don't know whether I have or I haven't went to get tested by it. Well, that, that's I, not. I, I, avoid, I avoid bees like the plague. <laughs> yeah, you do not want to test that theory about maybe I'm not allergic to bees anymore. Don't do that. My my sister was totally allergic to bees, and and I know other people in my family is allergic to bees, which I'm not going to name their names. But yeah, it's it's not something to laugh at. And we have we have in our chat right now we have risey and we have niobe comics how are you doing niobe sure what's going on man i just came by to, to do some <laughs> do some drawing talk some story before before i start going on hiatus for a whole week oh yeah yeah, so, yeah. Job for you. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna I, well it's my job they're gonna send me away for another audit so i'm gonna okay. be away for a week so hopefully cross comics or one of you guys have a stream and I can go jump in with you guys or something. Oh, I'm going to be doing a lot of streaming uh, after tonight. Um, cool. I'm probably going to stream two or three times this week. Easy. Awesome. Oh, really, not really, because, really. Manny, I'm promoting a comic book right now. <laughs> oh, you're going to promote a comic book on my channel? How dare you? I know, right? <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. It's fine. We all know that he's the creator of Niobe Comics and he has Niobe and As Asani which is awesome, awesome, awesome. He has a Kickstarter right now, right? Yeah, I do. It's for uh, Avani Origins number one. It's the villain from the series Niobe. She's getting her own spinoff book, a one-shot, and uh, it's on Kickstarter, and we've raised uh, $1,960 out of uh, 2400 that we need. Cool. And that's just over the course of three days. Awesome. Oh, You're cool. almost there, dude. Almost there, and then you know, you can keep going past that. Uh, but it'd be great to get funded like before the week is out, you know. That would be awesome. So, right All now, right. we're at 46 backers and 26 days to go. Cool, cool, cool. What's the cool. uh, lowest tier for actually getting the books? Uh, I didn't hear his question. What do you say? He's asking, what, what is your lowest? What is your tiers? Oh, uh, well, here, are you just you know, give me a minute here, and I'll, and I'll do a little bit of screen sharing, and everyone can see. Sounds good. How you uh, doing? In the meantime, how's Cross doing? I'm doing good. And yeah. what are your uh, shipping uh, rates like? 
<laughs> well, I'm in Canada and I'm shipping to the States, but uh, yeah. shipping to you wouldn't be, uh, you know, that big of a deal because you're just in Ontario. Yeah. <laughs> I always worry about that. I didn't think I'd have to worry so much with you. <laughs> no, no. I mean, it'd be like eight bucks to send something to you, you know, but if I'm sending to the state, that's like 10 or 12 or even more, depending on the bulk of it. Yeah. Well, when I send my 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 nine by twelve drawings, um, put them in a bubbled envelope, and it only cost me three bucks. Three bucks? I wish it was that here, man. The bare minimum for me to send out a comic has always been eight bucks. Uh, that's to the states too. No, no, that's to people in Canada. <laughs> yeah. No, eight, I'm talking for my three wow. bucks. Risey. Yeah. Right. Do you want me to catch up on the chat? No, no, no. Risey, what do you want me to draw tonight? Oh, um, Aver Riven or Cyclops. Ooh. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Uh, thanks a lot there, Risey. Okay, yeah, that, that, that's his opinion. Okay, uh, Niobe, what would you want me to draw tonight? <laughs> um, geez, I don't know. That's a good question. Um. Are we picking characters from mainstream or just from, from our own surf floor? I, I would figure that Risey would have caught the hint and go, hmm, one of our characters would be awesome for us to draw. Right? So, oh, well, I was reading the chat at the same time. wasn't sure if I was meant to do yeah. that. But I'll say, yeah. Dude, I got the answer, but uh, I, I don't know if you know, if you, you know how much time it would take. But I, I say draw Niobe back-to-back -back with Skunk Girl. Ooh, that sounds that awesome. Be. That is, that's it. There we go. <laughs> LP wins tonight. LL Cool P in the house. Cool yeah, you got me bait with that. Damn it. All right, Ryze, you want to catch up on the chat for us, please? Uh, um, yep, everyone's just uh, coming in by the looks of it, but I'll go from when I got up, got in here. Um, Nobi, uh, Trusty says, hey, gang. Uh, Jimmy E. Oatmeal says, hi, trusty. Uh, Volnard, how are Raven? How are Raven? Uh, Jimmy Oatmeal, uh, I can't, I'm stumbling on that one, sorry. <laughs> Jim E. e Oatmeal, hey, Racy, good dog lords. I'm not going to read all of that, but thank you. Ladies, um, the art of read is in the channel, chat. Howdy, mate. Um, trusty, Manny, did you get the corn crud? Question mark. What's corn crud? I think maybe he thought I went to a con. I didn't go to the con yet. Ah. The con is actually this weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Unfortunately, I'll be there Friday night. I'll be there Saturday to about 3 o'clock. Then I'm going to have to leave for the airport. Uh, so, what convention is it, bro? Uh, the Amazing Comic, uh, Amazing Aloha Comic Con. Now, are you going to be there with the table or are you just uh, like in attendance? No, I, I do have a table. Oh, well, we got to shill this, man. You got to see this man at this con. Well, What's so the name of the con again? Amazing Aloha Comic Con. But the like Amazing the Aloha Comic Con in Hawaii. Go and see the master of Skunk Girl. Get a commission <laughs> from this guy if he's doing commissions. Say hello. Tell him Niobe sent you. Hey, there you go. I mean, there's a whole bunch of great artists that's going to be at that con. I mean, you got Neil Adams. You got, you got Ron Lim. You got... You got the guy that does uh, Harley Quinn, uh, Chad Harding. Chad yeah. Harding, he's a cool dude. I met him. I, I've met him twice already. He's a cool, cool guy. Uh, George Perez will be there. Marv Wolfman will be there. Yeah, it's it's going to be a good con. I've got the stacked lineup, dude. Yeah, no, Chad Harding was pretty cool. Uh, I, I brought in the first five issues of Harley Quinn from the New 52, and mm -hmm. I had him and Bruce Tim sign them all. That was awesome. Cool. Yeah, so, so I'll be at that con. Like I said, I won't be there Sunday. Sunday is free uh, sketch for the kids. That's why I did a whole bunch of sketches, and my wife will be able to hand them out. Either my wife or my brother. My brother will be there also. So, so I'll have people there at, at my booth to help me out. You know, Unfortunately, I just won't be there. I'll be, I'll be on the East Coast watching snow out my window. But, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm going from a beautiful, nice, sunny day right now to cold, cold, cold. I'm not looking forward to it at all. Well, at least you won't run into any skunks. 
Uh, they hibernate. True. That's true. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be an awesome villain for her. Some some snow ice villain. You know, make her sort of hibernate. Hibernate? Cool. Yes, skunks hibernate during the winter, so, you know, they don't like the cold and all that. True, true, true. Oh, sorry about that. I am at work. I had to get called away there. That's okay. I'll try and meet myself next time. I only got one other customer yet to check in. So I, I work in a hotel. I'm a night auditor at a hotel. That's what I do. <laughs> so the graveyard shift is mine, you know. Cool. All right. I'm going to have to bring up some Niobe and some. Don't have to bring up Skunk Girl. Uh, Niobe, oh. has, Niobe has no weapons, right? She's just. Uh... Yeah, no. She just creates portals like uh, like Blink or Magic from the X-Men. and. Okay. You know, she uses the teleport powers to fight. You know, she likes to appear behind people, above people, throw people through portals, and you know. How tall is Niobe? Oh, I think I have her down as five three or five four. Oh, she's so, short. Oh yeah, she's tiny. Uh, you know, she's a short Japanese girl. Um, oh, dude, Skunk Girl's gonna tower over her. <laughs> There's an actual bio in Niobe number one where I where I list her actual you know her, her size height and weight and all that. Um, I don't have it with me, so I can't remember the exact is it five three or five four, but you know it's around those lines. She's going to be you know, a little shorter than Skunk Girl for sure. The Skunk Girl oh. has has to be at least five eleven six feet. Oh, she's a tall woman, man. Yeah. She's she's an Amazon. Yeah, she's she's like a model type, so that's that's why it's like she can't that's be short. Pretty, that's pretty average for for me. Female superhero, so five eleven. Yeah, yeah. If you look at like some of the Marvel comics profiles that we got for the characters, most of them stand around five eight, five nine, around one hundred and twenty, twenty five pounds. You know, it seems to be the usual dimension uh, that they like to give. Um, and you have a couple, you know, ones that are taller. You know, yeah. it's Gunk Girl's tallest I am. <laughs> it's basically just going to be a Cyclops Wolverine team up type look. <laughs> Pretty much, no. I'll just have I'll just have the tail over her head. There you go. There you see. I just, more, I just more mean in the height department, you know. There, see. That's okay. Cool. So she's a little shorter, so I get the little halo with the head over the tail over her head. Naomi's gonna have a little skunk tail over her head. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of tails, I was able to give Skunk Girl a table uh, a tail in the wrestling game. Hey, dude. That that uh, that part that you had the wrestling in, on my show the last time, people loved it. <laughs> <laughs> they ate that up. They were like, "That was so cool." I mean, people just stood there. It was awesome. How many people watched that that portion of the show? Well, you know, uh, I, I'll show you the last match we did uh, the other night on my actual YouTube uh, wrestling show. Skunk Girl took on Chung Lee. Cool, but. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure you'd be happy with the result. Chung Lee, uh, she's a tough, tough competitor, but it was a hell of a match. <laughs> it's, if, if we had the, the, if we had the Desert Eagles in there, maybe, maybe <laughs> Skunk Girl would have won. Right? <laughs> Just shoot her out. Uh, I, I see what happens. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll on in, a, in a little bit. Um, on my screen right now is the actual uh, Avani Origins Kickstarter. I don't know if uh, if I can put a link in your chat. I don't think it will let me do that, but I'll, I'll send it to you. If you want to put it down, that'd be uh, that'd be a great favor to me. Well, I, I can do that right now for you. I'll I'll, I'll give you a, a wrench for tonight. <laughs> All right, Hon honorary moderator. Piss everybody off. It's like man, he's giving out another wrench. <laughs> no, Man, I give out wrenches like they're candy on my channel. It's crazy. No, I don't give out wrenches. Well, what's happening right now is I I get a hard time doing anything right now, so I'm using my stylus to do everything. My my mouse is out. Ooh, yeah. I mean, I just gotta go cook it up to another portal or whatever. But I'm just not worrying about it. So I added you as a moderator just now. So now you can go. You can drop that link in there. Yeah, so if anyone's interested in checking it out, it's it's all there. Um, like I said, we have uh, 1960 uh, raised. We're looking for 2450. And uh, yeah, man, uh, it's been going good. You know, I gotta give a big shout out to guys like Crypto Comics and Slick Jimmy for uh, helping me uh, edit this actual Kickstarter. Uh, you know, they helped me with the with the wording of uh, 
of certain things in here to make it sound better and look cooler. Cool. Oh man, I'm trying to. There's, this this is this is not the easiest thing in the world using a stylish to go all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get to Indiegogo so I can look and see what Tales Beyond the Gate has done so far. <laughs> but, yeah, um, yeah, I could probably do that, John. I mean, Jim. man, I can barely hear Rick, man. Uh, Rick, speak up, Rick. Okay. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> I, was just saying, I could probably go over to uh, Indiegogo. Well, I'm getting there. Yeah. It's just going to take a little while. It does, it's not like I can do it right off the bat. Okay, I'm I'm oh, there already. I, I, I'm there already, Rick. <laughs> Everybody can hear my horrible voice. Yeah, it's horrible on the regular nights. It's even worse tonight. Oh, lordy. All right, we are at Tales Beyond the Gate. We're at 3,900. I mean, 3,095 dollars. Yay! There you awesome. go. 56 backers. Yay! People come on over there and go back that book. And then jump over to Kickstarter and back my book. <laughs> and believe it or not, I am on that book. You just got to scroll down to the bottom to see my artwork. But I am on that book, people. <laughs> uh, it's down there. Trust me, it's there. <laughs> uh, you guys, whoever, you guys have been watching me for the last three months or so, you guys have seen the uh, curiosity. You guys see me draw that already. You guys see me promote that book a lot. So you guys have seen a lot of pages coming out of me. Uh, e or Tease has got a run, so take care, E. And we got Bethany, Alaric, we got Willie Reed, we got Skunk Girl in the chat. I just thought we'd give a quick update of who was in the chat. Before oh, Willie I Reed, in. man, he's uh, he's my uh, he's my neighbor. Cool. Oh well, well, pretty much. He's like an hour and a half drive away from me. Not even. Awesome. Yeah, I'll be seeing him in the month of May. We'll be hanging out for a bit. No, try and get it on video or at least take a picture. Sounds good. Don't you have something else coming out in the month of May also? I'm hoping the next issue in Niobe. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll be going up against Niobe Comics. So save your money for Skunk Girl. Spend, <laughs> spend it on, on, on his Kickstarter now. <laughs> uh no, back boat books, people. Save your money for boat books. That's the way I look at it. There's enough yeah. money to go around. You know, forget about spending money on that horrible stuff that's coming out of Marvel and DC, and, and buy some real comics. Buy comics that you guys love. You know, there's so much truth in what he said there. Um, you know, everyone's always asking for an alternative, and the alternatives are, are coming out. You're not limited to what's on the shelf at, at a comic book store anymore. You know, you're, you're dealing with the direct market now where creators like Manny, like myself, like Slick Jimmy, like so many others are, are putting their heart and their soul on the line with these books. Yeah. And, you know, they're, you know, these guys, they're, they're showing to you what they want to see in comic books and hopefully what they like, you will like. Yeah. And the worst thing is, is you check it out and it's not for you and you move on to the next thing, right? And if, if it's not for you, go sell it on the, the secondary market and make back your money. Yeah, you know, give it to someone who it might be for. Um, yeah, there's always someone else out there looking for a new yeah. product. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, Rick Piper asked about my tiers. You know, um, there's pretty cheap tiers here. Uh, you know, yeah. it's a you know, it's a 20 page floppy comic, so we don't ask for too much. I mean, you can get the digital for five bucks. You can get a hard copy for ten bucks. You know, and then it just kind of goes up from there if you're looking for like some of the extra swag, like buttons and pins and shirts and stuff. But it's all there. Um. I was just gonna ask. Um, I see you got uh, the Naomi plus uh, the uh, not the Naomi. This one. God, I can't hear him, man. Oh, so maybe. Rick, um, is it like your volume low, or are you just not close to the mic, bro? No, I'll I'll I'll, I'll pull him up. I'll, I'll make him a little bit louder. That's what I'll do. So okay. if it gets too loud, tell me I'm gonna pull him. Down. Okay, so I put you on maximum volume, okay. Rick. All right, give it another shot, Rick. How am I now? Can you hear me all right? I can hear you better. Okay. I was just uh, thinking, um, okay, this is the Ivana. Uh, do you have one with the Ivana for the hard copy? And Avani. The Avani. 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 <laughs> all right. So do what was the, the Do you have one with the Avani for the hard cover? 
like the physical and then the digital for the other four for Naomi? Um, it, not 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 as hardcover, but a, just a digital. Because right, if he you want to be able to get like the Ivani. Okay, no, I, I got what you're saying. You're asking, can you get the Ivani book and uh, the digitals? Um, I, I can arrange it. It's not a tier that's on there, um, but I can certainly put it there. Because I, I, that's what I, I was thinking, you know. That I know you got all five of them for 18 bucks, which is a good deal for digital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I people just seem to like that one. Uh, that one's got uh, six factors so far. And then on the just the, the $5 digital, that has 10 backers. So, you know, anyone that's ever wondering if there's a market for digital comics, I mean, 16 of my backers are, are going for digital right now. But I, I thought, you know, the fact that this is the Ivani uh, thing, you might want to do one with it as a physical copy and then Naomi as digital. I was thinking if you had that, I'd go for it if it wasn't too bad of a price. Well, you know what, Rick? Uh, I can make the Rick Piper tier and we can figure it out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's a Canadian tier. That, it's a super secret. I, I did this one for a friend of mine in New Zealand. Like I wasn't doing worldwide shipping uh, when I did Niobe number two. And he's like, look, my, I really want your comic. How do I get your comic? And I'm like, you know what? I'll make the Kyle Walker tier. It'll be limited to one, and only you can pledge to it. Oh, that'd be fucking awesome, mate. <laughs> oh, there goes Naomi again. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, crap. <laughs> he plays that crazy. was the first one. <laughs> oh, oh right. I hear you hold the record at nine. Yeah, and you know what's funny? I didn't even know what the F-bombs were for that night <laughs> when I did it. I was like, why am I getting beaten? What's this score chart? Oh, we got we got Josh Chris in the house. He's in the chat. Josh. Yeah, and we had Brad and Lorenzo as well. Yeah, Josh. I mean, we got room up here, people. We got room. Pencil for Life wants to know why you have a sexy voice tonight. Who has a sexy voice? You, apparently. He says, why does Manny have a sexy voice tonight? Who said that? Pencil, Pencil for Life. Brad. Uh, yeah, right. I got a sexy voice. It's called a harsh voice because I'm coming off a cold, guys. I mean, I was bedridden for the last two days. It's been horrible. <laughs> so, that, yeah, very, very harsh voice. I'm sorry. That's why we got Risey over here to, to do all the talking tonight. Risey and his sexy Aussie accent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We got, we got, I'm, I'm, I'm outnumbered here. I'm the only American here with all these foreigners. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't even realize that. <laughs> yeah, she's outnumbered. Two Canadians, one Australian. <laughs> I wonder it's a, who British, it's a British colony invasion. Yep, yeah, man, uh, Manny, Manny is, and Manny is an international show. <laughs> the International Hour with Good Dog Press. So, Juan <laughs> and Joshua says he'll only back it at the Rick Piper here. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say that. <laughs> The Rick Piper tier sounds like it might be popular. The Rick Piper tier? All yeah. of those? I really should make the Rick Piper tier. That'd be hilarious. Oh, I need... <laughs> no, 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 no. Canadian Shield tier. The Canadian yeah. Shield tier? <laughs> Either Canadian Shield or Cross Comics. Take oh. your pick. <laughs> Rick wants to be branded somehow. I got gotcha. you. Oh, Rick and branding. <laughs> Lorenzo hey. says, hail Niobe comic. Um, hail to you too, sir. Awesome. Do, 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 do. Niobe, there we go. Oh, Niobe, uh, do you got any physical uh, artwork? I got tons of physical artwork. Uh, on Sunday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, I'm doing um, <laughs> a minor league auction, auction uh, uh, art auction of comics. You gotta stuff. get rid of you gotta get rid of that minor league thing. That that's not cool, dude. <laughs> you gotta come up with a better better name for that. <laughs> well, I, I just equivalent it to you know sports stuff. They have the minor league and they have uh, the major. We are in the minors. We're coming up to the meeting. Uh, you could just call it the uh, indie auction. Yeah, I would. I would uh, 
What? Oh, you're, you're talking about like maybe auctioning off some artwork? Um, yeah, if, if you feel like it, you know. Well, a lot of the artwork I've done for Niobe are like commissions and personal pieces for, for my own kind of art collection, right? Um, I don't know if I can yeah. figure selling them, you know? Yeah, well, and of course you'd get all the money for them, you know? No, no, I understand that. It's just like, you know, some of these original pieces of art are, are gorgeous pieces of art, you know, that either I've done on sketch covers or done at cons. Yeah, um, well... No, well, I'm saying anything that you yourself have done that you want, Phil, you want. Oh, to watch you don't want to see my art, Rick. You, you don't want. You don't want no piece of that, brother. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm, so I'm you're not, not. You're not the artist on the book, then. God <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just a writer and creator. I mean, I do draw, Rick, but um, it's just good enough to say, "Hey, here's the design. Take this and make it look cool." You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah but that's, uh, that's a cool part. I like that those kind of drawings where you can see the where the talk came from. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I can pop up one of my drawings. You guys can see where my skill level is. Um, you know, like I said, it's just well enough to say, hey, you know, this is the idea. Um, that's about it, right? No, I, I could draw like thumbnails and, and stick figures and, you know, uh, poses like that, but I can't draw like detail, you know, like I can't. I can't draw hands. I can't draw feet. You know, my anatomy might look a little off. Like, I like, I, I know where my my limitations are in my art, right? Like, cool. But if it wasn't for my art, there'd be no comic book. Because you know, I was drawing Niobe since I was sixteen years old. Yeah. Well, I thought I'll, I'll show you, you know. one of the old ones first, and then I'll show you one of the newer ones. You can see maybe a little bit of progression. You know, hopefully, anyway. Let's think about art. You always want to progress. So there on the screen, you should see it. Um, that was done way back in like 2009. Oh, and that's pretty good. I know, gave her kind of, I gave her like, you know, the Canadian colors, the the red and white. And, you know, and I always gone through, uh, you know, several different sorts of looks and iterations. But that's how I picture, you know, coming out of portals, looking for action, ready to go. You know what I mean? Cool. You know, I'll show you a different one here. Um, <clears throat> maybe something that was done maybe, I think this one here was done 2000 and I want to say 13 or 14. Um, here, let me pop it. Um, I'll quickly catch up the chat because there's yeah. a question it's for good, you. Yeah, uh, it's your the last question. Get that get yeah. question out uh, there. I'll do that first, that one. Uh, yeah. Who drew Naomi's avatar then? Question mark. That's from Lorenzo. Um, so the avatar that I'm using right now is a chibi done by a girl in Newfoundland, Canada named Sweet Hemi Art. That's her pen name. And she does like the coolest looking little chibis ever. And I use them all the time. I use them as my avatars. I use them in advertisements because uh, she does them in a PNG file, which is transparent. So I can literally copy and paste them on anything, <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, I love PNG stuff. <laughs> Yeah, so that's another piece of my art. That was all colored with Copic markers when I first got like a set of Copics. I just kind of went and had some fun with them. Oh, cool. that's good. This is stuff you could sell off. Maybe it's, you know, not as good as say Manny or, you know, John or whatever. What? Uh, I said maybe it's not, not as good as you too. I'm saying your artwork is better, Manny. Uh, I don't think these are worth selling off, you know. Um, like but I said, it's it, just it, it, enough to say, hey, you know, here's my idea and, you know, make it cool. Here, I'm going to show you a couple of commissions I had done, guys. Like this this might, you know, be cool uh, for you to check out. This one here is done by Colette Turner, and she's done covers for Lady Death and the various other publications. Check that one out. Nice. Ooh. So when I say like I collect original art, this is kind of what I mean, right? Like I I get like top tier artists to the drawer, you know, and but they're all they're not for sale. They're they're personal pieces. Yeah, that I get completely because that's your character. You got a big, big professional to draw your character. You know, I'd be the same way if I got you know like Alex Ross or somebody like that doing you know the Canadian Shield or one of my. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. For sure. never I'm... way, no way I'd ever be selling that. Well, you know, the story of my comic book came out from this. You know, I made Niobe when I was 16 for a role-playing game called Heroes Unlimited. I, you know, played her as a character or an NPC. 
And then in 2013, I started going to comic uh, book conventions again. And I would take my drawings to Artist Alley and I would visit these artists and just say, hey, look, here's my character. Can you draw her for me? You know, I, I would like to see what she looks like through the eyes of a, of a professional. And after I had several of these drawings come back to me, I'm like, damn, these look damn cool. And I, you know what? I'm going to do a comic book with her. That's it. You know, like I can't draw it. I'll pay someone to draw it. But I definitely got to got to get this out, you know. Cool. Yeah. And that's a very, very short story of how it all came to be. <laughs> I'm looking to see if I can show you like like I'm on my laptop right now, so it's not up to date like my desktop is with a bunch of drawings. But uh, there's still some stuff on here I can show. You said Naomi is a Japanese little girl, right? Yeah, she's a Japanese pop star. Okay, um, cool. She's got the ability to to teleport and jump through time and space, and she's still discovering, you know, the limits of her powers. You know, she still hasn't fully gotten to her her potential yet because the series you know even though it's been around for five years we're only on issue five and so there's still lots to be uh, developed as, as we move on just oh making, yeah especially just issue sure i got the right eyes for her yeah this one here was done uh, before we even had a comic book um this was done by the cover artist who did niobe number one and this was just like a promo print just to see how it would look, and we handed these out at the local convention just to see if we can get any traction. This was done, I think, back in 2014 or 15. I think it's 15 there. And we were just handing those out for free, but we only printed 50 of these, and that's it. And we numbered them. Cool. Yeah, just to kind of, you know, keep them, you know, special. And anyone that, you know, has got one, like, you know, say if Niobe ever did get published or – or was worth a dime, you know, someone with having those original prints, you know, good collect, nice little collector's item, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah, not to mention bragging rights that you got the originals. Just, just like Rizy Lee has the bragging rights to Skull Girl. Yes. Right. Now, this next one here I'll show you. This here is done by a guy named Paul Green. And Paul Green oh, is right. known for his work in Xenoscope. So you guys know Xenoscope, like Grim Fairy Tale comics and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you know, they, yep. they're known for their sexy women, if you will. Yes, so we have a lot of convention exclusives for them. And those are the books that usually get graded by CGC and go for, a, you know, a high amount. He's also done work, again, for – you guys are going to hear me say this over and over again, but Lady Death, you know, Brian Polito's Lady Death. He likes to go after some of the cool artists, some of the guys that are really known for their sexy style. So I commissioned Paul Green to do this one. Uh, and then I commissioned him to do a second one. And then the third time I talked to him, he actually did our, our variant cover for the upcoming issue. Cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, Lorenzo in the chat says, one thing I disagree with EVS about is he thinks that men don't like playing female characters. I will if a female fits into the plot. I don't want to be staring at dudes behind while playing a game. Here's my take on that. I love female games. It's not that like I'm this feminist or anything. Trust me, feminists don't like me. But um, I love female leads. Ever since I was like 16 years old and watching anime, if you guys watch anime, you know, from the late 80s, early 90s, all the main characters were female. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they were all awesome. They all kicked ass. Just like the movie I just saw last week called Battle Angel Alita. It was great. <laughs> you know? Uh, yeah, I feel like every time I go to a new stream or watch something on YouTube, someone's talking about how great that movie is. Eh? Well, I really got to get I out there. I love it. Uh, I want to see it a second time. Uh, you know, I was a big fan of the anime back when I was, uh, you know, a youngster. And, you know, I thought they did a really decent job with, uh, with the live, uh, live action rendition. That's cool. I would have saw it this weekend if I wasn't sick. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see me in a theater coughing and wheezing. That would have been would not have been good. Uh, oh, I'll go check. Hello, hello. I I hear Howdy. the voice. Oh, I hear the Can voice. Hear me? The sexy oh. man, Argentina. Very sexy man. <laughs> How are you, Pablo? I'm fine. Like I said, this is an international thing going on tonight, people. I am the only American on this panel. <laughs> 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 oh, my Lord. Okay, hello. Where the hell are you? <laughs> Where are you, Jacob? <laughs> no Americans allowed except for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. Oh. 
How are you doing, Pablo? I'm doing fine. That is awesome. I Pablo's see you. background. He's gonna be super quiet. He's gonna bring up. He's gonna draw some beautiful women as usual. Yeah. Once more, he's gonna Pablo is the man. You know, um, he he has a print uh, in the Avani Kickstarter. So you guys, if you like Pablo here, um, he's got art in my in my Kickstarter. Where, you know, he's got a he's got a nice kind of old school eighties style sort of print like something you expect to see right on the pages of the x-men it, it's awesome cool so back that kickstarter if you want his print <laughs> all right and if you guys yes, do it okay so we got a whole bunch of stuff going on people we got we got uh niobe comics we got uh tales free on the gate going on we got all kind of stuff where you guys need to go spend some money Yes, you're coming into an expensive season. Very expensive season. <laughs> but you know, the you don't next eight months. For the next eight months. <laughs> yeah, but you don't need to break the bank. I mean, you know, you you can easily you know read my book for five dollars digital. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, don't yeah. always go for those expensive tiers. Uh, I'm I'm happy if someone you know pledges for five bucks or two hundred and fifty bucks. It's all good to me. Exactly, because yeah. you know it's just word of mouth. You know, somebody reads it at five bucks. Hey, this is a good book. Oh man, now I gotta go find the hard copy. You know, it, it works yeah, exactly. out. Exactly. Yeah. They taste of it and they want more. You know, that's that's how it's done. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say that's the problem with most of us comic guy. We like the physical hard copy. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, we got, I've been there. Yeah. Asking if it's a Canadian stream, and then Trusty says it's kind of a UN stream. Um, <laughs> Comics Lorenzo says comics gate is truly diverse. Uh, Joshua says, Wait, Manny is American. I thought he was Hawaiian. This is the third most positive thing I've watched all week. The third most positive? Oh, we're always positive over here. We have fun. Yeah, you can hear me sniffle the whole night. Yay. Yes, we got the sniffler with us. Nick. Yeah, you got He's the thing. You mentioned like wanting hard copies of things. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm a comic book collector, right? And I got a lot of key issues in my comic book collection. Um, and I look at these comics that are coming out right now as potential investments, like especially when it concerns the books on Comicsgate itself. I wish I jumped on Cyberfrog when I had the chance or Jawbreakers because despite, um, you know, what people may think of that movement, those comic books are historic, yeah. And then, um, oh, yeah. they're going to go high on the secondary market. They they really really will. And if you look at this ten years from now, if those books get any traction at all, if they can maintain that momentum, those first copies, then you know they're they're going to be a nice addition. You know, it's, if if you collect for investment, right? Right. Um, like I collect to read, but I also look at my books as you know they are an investment down the road i got like you know the first appearance of the film, you know first appearance of spider uh spider gwen you know the first yeah. appearance of rogue from the x-men um you know all, all these sort of like first appearance of kitty pride and emma frost like all these key issues um that i have in my collection you know now some of them are in slabs some of them are graded some of them are you know just in, in mylar but they're all well taken care of yeah oh my lord <laughs> yeah i i got Cyber Frog for the first round. So, oh, <laughs> I also got uh, Red Rooster and uh, Lone Star. But should we? I, mean, look at like this. I mean, those guys are some big names here. You know, John Malin, Ethan Van Skyver, and whatnot. But if you look at guys, just say like, you know, on the lower end of the spectrum, some of the unknowns, like like myself, or or maybe Manny, or or a few of these other mm -hmm. cats that are you know just trying to get out there. If you get some of their early work, and one of these guys hits it big. Man, you know, would it be like the cool to have that very first rendition of Skunk Girl, you know, after like Skunk Girl hits the Netflix series or something? Now, oh, I'm pretty yeah. big here, right? But what are you, you yeah. going to do, Rizy? Are you going to sell that very first Skunk Girl drawing? No, I'll keep it and brag about it for the rest of my life. Oh, Lord, Rizy has the very first uh, full drawing of Skunk Girl. Everything else up to that point was just uh, little fast thumbnail sketches. Rizy got the very first real, truly. I stood stood one day. Oh, yeah, and, I love that. Piece. Yeah. You know, people talk about the speculator market, you know, and, and books to speculate on. You know, my advice to people is pick up some of these indies 
because if one of these things, you know, ever becomes a, a thing, if you will, right, you know, um, it's nice to have, like, I wish I had the very first Walking Dead or the very first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or, you know, or, or books like that, you know? I don't have Walking Dead, but I do have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Number mm. one, Eastman and Lard, first print? I, I do not have the first print. I have the second print. Yeah. I do have the second print. I mean, the second issue, first print, signed by both of them. There so, you go. That's some money right there, man. Yeah. So I do have some really good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was done by somebody in the States right near this area, too. Detroit or something like that. I could be wrong. I don't know where they're from. So Lorenzo says, Skunk Girl, the woke Netflix web series. <laughs> the what? The Is woke? Skunk Girl woke? Is she woke? No, he just means if if it went on Netflix, they'd probably do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah I don't know, because really Manny really wouldn't let them. I mean, if anyone ever wanted Niobe for a cartoon, a video game, a movie, a, a series, whatever it is, the deal is I'm on as a consultant. <laughs> you know, like, you know, I, I get a say in what happens with my property or it's no fucking go, you know? Oh, yeah. there's oh, that. Man. <laughs> Sorry, man, I was getting heated there for a second. <laughs> yeah, I'm the I'm the same way, Naomi. Uh, that's the way I've been since the beginning. You know, if people have said, "Why don't you go to DC or Marvel?" Because I don't want them to mess up my property. Well, first of all, DC and Marvel, you don't go to them; they come to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, if you got something yeah. they want, they'll, they'll they'll seek you out. The thing is, is that DC and Marvel own their own property. So if we were to say bring Canadian Shield over there, or if I was to bring Naomi to say Marvel, um, they would own it. That's it. You know, they, they would own yeah. it. And, and whatever happens with that character afterwards is up to them. Yeah. yeah they, they, uh, exactly uh, why I'd never do it. <laughs> no, what they'll do is they'll own it. They'll bury it and they'll come up with their own version. Yeah, exactly. Or many times. Yeah. That, that's how they uh, do it. Adrian says he found a skunk girl he drew and he'll be sending it to you shortly right. as well. Oh yeah. That's good. Thanks for reminding me, Adrian. Anybody who's done fan art for Skunk Girl, please DM them to me. I, I'm trying to build an archive on the Skunk Girl fan art because I'm going to build up my, before I do my Indiegogo campaign, I'm going to make sure that that uh, fan art page is, is perfect. I want to make sure it, it's got everything on there. You got yeah, both so of mine or not, man? Yeah, I've, I've got yours. I've got yours. Uh, both of them? Yep, I got both of them. Oh, yeah. There, there's some that I know I've seen before, like Adrian's. I knew I've seen Adrian's one, and Adrian's one was like from the very beginning. I just cannot find where where I put it, so I'm, I'm making an archive right now. I've got a lot, lot of artwork, which is awesome. I think I made a count. It was over 30 pieces of fan art, and there is no book yet. That is incredible that I have that much fan art. I right, thank you guys all for doing that for me. That is so cool. You know, I mean, hopefully when I, that book comes out, that there'll be hundreds of fan art that I won't be able to keep up with it. Okay, that's that's my public service announcement. Are you keeping up with the chat? Rising? Um, yeah, I was just about to get back to it. Um, Joan Art says, damn, trusty, they, uh, this is Adrian, trusty, they have Rob Liefeld's work. Uh, trusty sidekick says, skunk girl may be the most popular character for fan art. I wonder why. Yeah, exactly. Um, Joan Art says, I'll DM you in a week. I will put in 2,000% in doing those fan art. Um, Adrian, trusty says, Adrian, I forgot about that. Lorenzo says, it's cool to see Rick on here again. Yeah, hell yeah, it is. I want to see a Rick Piper original drawing of Niobe. Well, you have got your wish right here. Oh, yeah? Are you doing Niobe right now? That's awesome. Well, not exactly. I tried with the best rendition I could remember of uh, Skunk Girl's costume. I tried to do a uh, Skunk Girl Niobe mashup. Oh, crossplay. Cool. <laughs> Awesome. And we've also got like another amazing artist that joined us here on stream, Josh Chris Art. Josh Chris is in the house. I finally made it. I made awesome. it. Awesome, Josh. Yay. And is, can Josh draw with us tonight? 
I am done. <laughs> he is done. He can draw with us again. Oh, no. Congratulations. Yeah. So awesome. <laughs> yeah, we had a <clears throat> we had a scare with him too. Oh. Yeah. I sent in the scans like I'm supposed to do and they responded back today as well. And it's like, oh, thanks for the scans. You know, go ahead and send them in. And just to be clear, that is X amount of these. And are you also sending in one of the AP cards? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so I rip open the box. I tear it apart. I count them all. I'm like, I've got one more than they were supposed to send me. <laughs> so I did one more than I was supposed to. <laughs> he was like, that's okay. I guess we just messed up and sent you an extra. But hey, it works. <laughs> awesome. Cool. It's so, just as long as they give you the money for it. <laughs> say what? Just as long as they give you the money for it. <laughs> well, you know, like I've said in the past, it's real this, it's not so much the money. You know, it's 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 whatever with that. It's I'm getting my name out there with a you know, a list of artists that were selected to do this. Cool. You know, that that's what it's all about. You know, I don't yay the pay. Or ugh, the pay, whatever you know. It's it's about me being able to put my name with Upper Deck and putting that on my art resume. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. That is awesome. Uh, we had a Pope appear in the uh, chat. Says cough invite Pope. Cough invite Pope. That's, that's Pope oh, Fire. A great yeah, artist. You know what's going to happen? Pope Fire is going to come on here. She's going to say, "Come watch my videos," and then <laughs> <laughs> you already know this is. Tonight's stream is going to be just for artists, Pope. That's that's why I was only sent in a, a different uh, DMs tonight. Jeez, you how do you justify me being here? Tonight? Tonight? Was that? How do you justify me being here then? Because <laughs> well, you're talking art and you're talking artists and you're talking about uh, Comic Cons and stuff like that. That's why. Uh, so. I do want to talk to Pope Fire though. Um, you know, I guess Crypto was talking uh, to her on my behalf, and you know, uh, she wanted me to reach out to her about being on her show, and I would love to be on Pope Fire's show. She so, so, since you mentioned Comic Con, <laughs> I've said in the past that certain Power Rangers don't like each other. Okay. The Red Ranger and the Green Ranger have a feud that's been going on for years. <laughs> And they do not like to be in the same Comic Con together. <laughs> if you look at Lexington Comic Con, this will be the first time the Red Ranger and the Green Ranger have been at Rupp Arena in Lexington for the, at the same time. But if you look in detail, the Red Ranger is there Thursday and Friday, and the Green Ranger is there Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> um, if you also look at the Hawaiian Comic Con that Manny is going to, <laughs> the deluxe edition ticket that you can get for the deluxe Power Ranger package only includes Jason David Frank and Amy Johnson. Mm. Does not include St. John Austin. <laughs> he is not included in the package. Wow. Interesting. Oh, and uh, I follow the voice of Mario. He's already in Hawaii. Cool. He's already chilling out on the beach, talking like Mario, walking amongst you people in Hawaii. <laughs> Be on the lookout for Charles Manny. If you take his picture, study it. If you see him walk around, just immediately start talking like Luigi in front of him and just see how he reacts. I am a Mario. Uh, oh, Pope Fire's declared war on you, man. Yeah, let her go. We know who's going to win that battle. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> she's she's gonna don't don't be like that pope it's this certain nights that good dog press is just about the art and just about the talking about the projects that's going on right now you know tales from beyond the gate skunk girl niobe uh josh chris his projects my pro i mean my comic con coming up all about the comics. Did Man, you I say my problems, problems and your problems? <laughs> yeah. All kinds in of uh, April, I'll be in Halifax, Nova Scotia for Spring Geekwinox as an invited guest. So I know there's a few Canadians here in the house, and I know a couple are listening. So if you're in Halifax, Nova Scotia, April 19th to the 21st, come see me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I John. wish I could get there for that. 
Josh, you and me are the only Americans here, dude. Oh god. All, all these foreigners, <laughs> dude. I thought I smelled maple syrup. Oh man. Got a lot got a lot of maple syrup. Got some got some Aussies in the house. Got a got a cool Argentinian though. <laughs> He's very, very quiet. Very quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I hear my, my phone going off. Am I getting DMs? Should I even look at these DMs? Jeez, I wonder <laughs> from wonder wonder if any are from your wife <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's exactly who i thought it was from oh it's not from my wife <laughs> hope oh, my I hope <laughs> declaring war here she says i'll do it with my webcam so everyone can see how beautiful i is and steal all of manny's views insert evil laugh oh yeah she does steal all my viewers there's no such thing as stealing viewers the way i look at it is we all share the viewers you know, they can always open up another browser. Big deal. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah but the, the thing with this is they probably, they'll be listening to one and not the other. That, that's okay. As long as they still come and look at your stuff and hit the smash the like button and go, you know, good job, guys. That's all I care. Sure. That's all we care. You know, come on over, watch for a couple minutes, you know, see what we're doing, see what we're all about. Notice we ain't got no drama here. <laughs> They ain't no a, lot of F a lot of F-bombs, though. A lot of F-bombs. <laughs> and it's not I caught that on mean. my phone, and then I caught that while I was trying to get that. I had to restart my computer like three times to get my mouse to work. Dude, then, I, like, I, I the mouse of the day. I, my, I got my yeah. My mouse is yeah. not working right now. I'm using my stylus. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had to restart my computer. I, 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 I made this uh, live stream. I went to go and send everybody the link, and my computer shut down. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> and then when I rebooted it up, I can't use my mouse right now. So I got to figure it out later on. So I'm just using my stylus. So I'm trying to figure out what Wycom drawing tablet I want. Man, you're going expensive, aren't you? I, dude, you know, it's the best. It's the best, but you can get away with the cheaper brands also, you know. Yeah, but I haven't liked any of the cheaper brands. Uh, I'm using this UG, and I love it. Yeah, you know, I've heard good things about the the one that starts the Huron. I heard good things about those too. But uh, how, how big is yours? Mine's is a twenty-one point five inch. Whoa! Yeah, dude. And right uh, during Christmas time, I think John got his for like less than four hundred bucks. Nice. Well, Walmart has one of the Wycoms on their website. How much? 500. What? I know. I was like, what the heck is the difference between the one on this one and the one on the other side? But what? How big? 21. No ways. Yeah, the Wycom uh, the, on their normal page is like 2150 or uh, 22, and it's like $1,200. Wow. Jeez. Oh, go for it. I mean, if it's cheap, go for it. I don't know. I, I'm on, I'm trying to figure out, you know, why why is it so much different? Is it make sure it's not refurbished? Say what? Make sure it's not a refurbished. Yeah, that's one of the other things that I'm worried about. Yeah, yeah. I don't want refurbished. I'm one of those guys. I, I want it brand spanking new. Yeah, you I want a it. warranty on it. I want brand new. No one else has licked it but me. Yeah. You, you do not want a refurbish when it comes to these tablets. No ways. Yeah. Yeah. That's a no no. I'm tired of working on my Surface Pro 2 with like the, you know, nine, nine and a half inch screen. And I have to zoom in and out to do anything. I, I want to work on an actual screen and, and I don't know, just do more art with it. Cool. <laughs> yes. I mean, these, these screens are time saver I mean, nothing beats traditional art but if you want to do it in traditional art and ink it in on screen so much easier so much faster yeah, yeah. that's well, i'm just i'm wanting to do more more digital you know mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm, I'm needing to you know it, it's time to whenever comic cons come around you know it's just so difficult to work on that surface pro because it's only got so much memory so much processing heck all the time it's all like you can't save everything you just freaking did because there's no room on the surface and i have to go and do certain like c cleaner 
on the computer just to remove like a whole bunch of temporary folders that never left that I can just save a document. Right. I'll quickly catch up on some of the yeah. chat because it's, it's going catch up on the chat. Fast. It's so simple. Um, People always want to do a lot of about tablets. In <laughs> April, I'll be in AZ starting to sizzle with the coming heat. Pope Fire says, ah, ha, 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 ha. Um, Adrian says, check your DMs, my man. The art should be there. Awesome. Thank uh, you. Woman Joshua says, streaming during someone else's stream. It's the good dog press way. Um, Pope cool. Fire has, it looks that like. Is, that is such a I'm low sure goal. That is, that is, are, but one that? of them. Was that, was that <laughs> Woman was Joshua. That Joshua. I think Joshua needs to get his wrench revoked. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, Joshua, ain't nobody here. Yeah, Trusty says, damn it, sorry. Trusty says, ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, Abiel says, Kapoya, Kapoya. Oh. I'm brutalizing that. I'm not sure. It's it's K-A-P-O-Y-A-A. Kapoya. Kapoya. Um, and then Trusty says, at, at woman Joshua, it's the EVS and Mike Miller way. Abe says, graphic monitor, question mark. I think that was about what we were just talking about. Uh, then Trusty uh, respells Miller. Uh, Galmon, Abe says. Pope Fire is laughing hysterically. Uh, the Art of Reed says, ha. Huh? Uh, Abe says, dang, 500 for a 21. Go for it. Uh, Adrian says, yeah, man, no refurbished. Um Trusty says to Abe, I'm not seeing it. Lorenzo says, thanks for reviewing Lone Wolf at Pope Fire, the Starfire Outlaw. You pointed out what you liked, but even pointed out some stuff you disliked. Um, Joan Asset says, time for... Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, I didn't say that. That was what <laughs> Joshua says. I didn't say that. That was woman Joshua. <laughs> Actually, Jonah said, "Time for Satan, Jonah, to join the stream." Yeah, I just didn't want to say that See. name on Manny's stream. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Is that is that a uh, Pablo with the with the cars in the background as usual? What? What was that? What was that vehicle in the background? Was that you, Pablo? I don't know. Usually, usually there's uh, cars in the background. <laughs> That's cool. All right. And back to the show. <laughs> yeah, $1,500 for the one I want. $1,500. Cool. Yeah. That's, That's reduced cool. price. It's normally 3000 Yeah. Usually oh. those things are expensive as hell. Yeah, that's why when I bought mines, uh, my my thing cost me seven hundred, and that was two years ago. So they've the one that I'm using came down in price, you know. So it's and I, I'm telling you this this UG is really really good, but if you can get a Wacom, why not? I would love to get a Wacom one day. Well, you know, it's tax season. We got money back, you know. Got two kids. You get a little extra back. <laughs> You're the biggest kid. <laughs> well, the wife was like, I think, it, you know, you've saved up quite a bit from your art fund. I think it's time that you start really looking at one of those drawing tablets you want. And I was like, oh, drool. <laughs> She's so nice. She'll let you do that. Well, she's all about funding this, you know. It's it's been me saving up and and as much as I can with all the cons and you know with all the extra from from our booths and tables. You know, it's been either buying prints or saving up for this. Cool. Uh, trusty sidekick asked uh, where I'm going to be on the East Coast. Oh, dude, I'm going to be in Maine. Ew. If you're going to be in Maine, that is right above where I or right below where I live. Yeah, I'm gonna be in Maine for a week. That's awesome. Oh. Here is Chung Lee versus Skunk Girl for your viewing pleasure. Cool. Oh, you're Next. gonna be an hour behind me then, <laughs> or no, ahead of me. 
<laughs> All right, so let's let's go white box and Niobe and let's watch some wrestling right. for now. Take a little break from the artwork and let's see this wrestling match. Chun Lee versus Skunk Girl. Now Chun Lee, she's the heart of the BWK wrestling. She's a cult favorite. She makes it to all the house shows. She signs all the autographs and takes all the pictures with the fans. Now Skunk Girl is invading in her territory looking for a title shot here at some point. As the newcomer to the roster, uh, everyone's going to want to have their shot at her. Initiate her, if you will. <laughs> All right. Trust, trusty sidekick, uh, you said wish you're going to be in Virginia. I will try to do that this year. I'm going to try to visit most of you guys, and I can do that with this my job. There, There is a place in Virginia that I can go to that we can, we can hook up, trusty. <laughs> First person I want to hook up with, too, uh, Josh, you know I want to hook up with, with ERTs. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hook up with ERTs too this 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 year sometime. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Chun Li coming down the aisle. Yeah, Chun Li. Uh, she's full of energy. She just charges down to the ring. She's ready for action. She knows that this newcomer is here in the roster, and uh, Chun Li's here to greet her. Oh my lord! If you guys are reading the chat, Pope I was about to say. Pope Fire is having a conniption tonight. <laughs> and guys, if you do like this wrestling match and you want to see more of it and you want to hear my very bad commentary, and sometimes I bring Risey Lee as my Australian uh, counterpart, but yeah, I bring him in live via satellite, you know, post circuit television. You can find that here in the link that I just put in Manny's chat. <laughs> that way you can hear the sounds and the music and all, all the funny stuff. <laughs> What wrestling program is this? Uh, what game system? This is well, I have it on both the PS4 and the Xbox One, but this particular uh, video we're watching was made on the Xbox One. <laughs> and it's you, uh, is it like from the WWE uh, one that comes oh, out? Or? Got a tail. <laughs> yeah, I gave her a tail, dude, but the thing is she, she can only have it when she comes to the ring, like when she's in the match, they don't let you use it. Well, that's cool. <laughs> it's a foreign object. She can't use that in a match. Right. <laughs> you have to take off the tail. You have to tuck it away somewhere. No. <laughs> oh, that's nuts. Oh. Hope, hopefully, the crowd, hopefully the crowd is behind Skunk Girl. Well, they are. Um, <laughs> you know, this is taking place in Calgary, Alberta, Canada at the Saddle Dome. And it, and it was a hell of a match, you know. She's not going to win them all, uh, but, yeah. Come on. Slingshot. Boom. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big wrestling fan. Being a long time. No, you know, you, you'll be able to tag team with uh, Little Girl Lethal. But she's cool. in here now. I also made your friendly neighborhood ninja. He's in the game. Booster Kiwi's in the game. Risey Lee is in the game. <laughs> yes. We need a Canadian shield in there one day. Well, I think we can arrange that. Cool. Uh, two wild cards says, I'm working on my comic script for my new graphic novel that Pablo Romero did the cover for. It's called Magic Cop. Cool. So it sounds like he's doing a thing with Pablo. Uh, Joshua Hughes says the Virginia Virginia post office question mark um, <laughs> it must have been while I had to run to do something uh, well, yeah, the I funny part say, is every uh -huh. time I start saying that I'm gonna visit somebody they're gonna figure it out they're gonna find out what the hell cities is Manny going to and they're gonna figure yeah. out where I work <sighs> they're gonna um, me. oh yeah <laughs> bloody doxing. Abe says you can have a grab a ship to cruise over to Humani. Um, and Chono says something that's probably not PC for your stream. Um, what? It, it says uh, hashtag panty shot for the win. Uh, that's oh, it's not, not that bad. bad. That's not too um, bad. And uh, Lorenzo says when's at Pofar the Starfire going to start her stream? Question mark. Uh, trusty says <laughs> that was a good one, Lawrence. Oh, man. Um, anyone who is going to be, and this is trusty, 
anyone who is going to be at Heroes Con in Charlotte's North Carolina this year, let me know. Um, Jonah says, so that's why Skunk Girl has a chance during the match. Oh, oh yeah, because of the pale. Um, I don't think we're going to read any more of Jonah Arts anymore. All right. Jonah Arts yeah. being naughty. Come on, Jonah. Well, you know, she had to tuck that tail away somewhere. True. If that's yeah. what if that's what he meant, okay. Yeah, that is what he meant. That, that's why he says he says so. That's why Skunk Girl has a bulge in her pants. We're a little bit behind reading the chat, so some of these yeah. things are like ten minutes old. Um, hey Pablo, uh, we added the logo. I'll, I'll have to send it to you. And Pofire says, "Well, now I have to do a stream." <laughs> Pofire just went. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he wants to be on this stream so bad. I think you should oh, let her on. Or I, was say, I think we should send her the link, Manny. No, no, no. She just went live, and you want to know what she called <laughs> it. She called her stream Pope Fire Good Dog View Steel Stream. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's girl. You do what you need to do. Uh, if, if you start bad mouthing me, girl. Oh, that's that's not cool. You do what you got to do, girl. <laughs> We're going to be very heavy fun. <laughs> Trusty says, best plan. Chat here now. Watch EBS tomorrow. <laughs> it's it is what I mean. Come on. Just open up multiple browsers, people. I'll go open up a damn browser and go. Harass her. That's what I'll do right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. I mean, why not? You know? <laughs> oh, can't let her have all the fun thinking that she's immune to me. <laughs> yeah, but you do that. You think you make her think she's actually getting to you. No, I'm just gonna say a little all to all the chat and say if you guys want to watch a real show. <laughs> 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 Why don't you guys all go over there, go Raider or whatever, if you guys want to. Adrian. Adrian's over there. Booster's over there. Uh, Joshua's over there. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to say hello to her. We should all Raider stream. Yeah, just say, let's go over there and just say hello all. Hashtag Manny. Or she hashtag... did to laugh out loud in your stream. Uh, it's, it's, that was it. I didn't even get to put what I wanted to put in there. She ended her stream already. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. How long was that? Oh man, that that's horrible. some pretty, that's some next level trolling. I love that. That is totally horrible <laughs> on her part. Yeah, now she's in the chat again. <laughs> that was fast. Oh man, we couldn't even go over there and raid her. That was pretty sad. Oh, <laughs> just says you have been warned, Manny. You have seen her power. She has no power. She had seven viewers. We, we went up to 21 viewers. Come on. What's her power? Oh, Lord. She is funny. Big shout out to Booster Kiwi. He had a match on this program, too. Uh, he took on Skeletor. Oh, man. Booster Kiwi is saying, you have seen her power. Yes. And we know it is weak. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yes. She her power, and she has been found wanting. Yes. <laughs> Lorenzo wants the uh, wee bird on here, Manny. And we've got someone I've not recognized their name, so I don't know if they're new. Uh, Recycle Dude says a wave with an emoji, so howdy to oh, him. Lord. Oh, he says new here. He, he is new. So howdy, mate. Who's, who's new here? Well, uh, if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Yeah, how you doing, Recycle Dude? Awesome. Thanks for coming over. I think I've seen him in my uh, chat before, Recycle Dude. I've I've seen him around, but yeah, it's the first time here. Welcome to the welcome to the club, <laughs> club uh, the the dog house, pretty much. That's what this is, <laughs> the house of the dog. Uh, and, and we have all kinds of stuff for you. We got we got people doing art right now. We're we're taking a little break. We're watching the the match, uh, Chun Li versus Skunk Girl. Chun Li just beat you. She threw um, the Aaron super kicked you in the face. <laughs> Pope Fire is still DMing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she is such a troll. 
Oh man, you know, bring her on and she, if, see, that's the principle. If I bring her on now, if I bring her on now, she wins. So we can't let her come on. <laughs> And we can't let Booster come on either, because that's a win too for her. Yeah, because you give Booster the link, Booster will give her the link. <laughs> <laughs> and she has a one on now. I she 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 got one on now. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you're about to give in, she's like, nope. You know what you should do, on. Mandy? You should what? give her the link and see whether she comes on. No. Uh, and then. Um, Use your power. <laughs> Use my power and kick her. That's not cool, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Rick's got some diabolical plans. Yeah. Rick. Rick. Oh. Yeah. Why would you want to be on this oh. show when I make your artwork looks a thousand times better? <laughs> and Skunk Girl lost. Yay. That's all right. She only lost the battle. The war is not over yet. Cool. All right. It's on free for all again, guys. <laughs> Joshua okay. says, Rick, stop being evil. Rick, what what is up with your skunk girl kind of looking like a 40 style? Well, I said it was Oh, you're a matchup. You're the matchup. Okay, I gotta get it. So what Rick is doing is he's doing skunk girl and Niobe together. That's why she's got a skirt on. Cool. Niobe skunk. Niobe skunk. Uh oh. Skunk Nobi. Skunk Nobi. Skunk me. There's Niobe versus Starfire. We'll call this Niobe versus Popefire. Ooh. And what are you working on, Pablo? Very diabolical. I'm doing Vampirella. Ooh, Vampirella. Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Very, very nice. I like it. Um, there's been some more chats too. Uh, I'm di Adrian's dying laughing. Rick's <laughs> Joshua says to Rick, "Stop being evil." <laughs> Abe says, "Is there a possible custom character that matches my icon, Niobe?" Oh, I'm sure we can make it. Um. And you can find most of his uh, wrestling streams if you want to see them over at his Rebel Gaming channel, Abe. That's where he does okay. a lot of them. Um, and fun, Joe... Sorry? I said they're fun and sometimes you're on the show. Yeah, no, they're brilliant. I love them. Uh, Jonah Art says, Chung Lee dabbed. Uh, Joshua says, oh no. And then Booster says, I'm sorry, Manny. I didn't mean it. I love you. Uh, Lorenzo says, I'd like to see Pope Fire in the wee bird. Um, Adrian says, I can't stop laughing. Pope Fire is laughing out loud as well. Um, uh, uh, Willie, uh, I keep going to call him Willie Reed. Uh, the art of Reed, man like Rick. Um, <laughs> Joshua Hughes says, Niobe when Kenobi. Niobe when Kenobi. <laughs> uh, Jonas says, skunk B, B, B Newell I can't pronounce that properly. Sorry, Jonah. Um, Pope Fire says, that's not Pope Fire. I have a hat and jacket. Tesk. Uh, <laughs> I can Lorenzo give her a says, hat and jacket. That's not a problem. Rick can't stop being evil. He's the Canadian devil. What? And we're all caught up. No, you can't say that, Lorenzo. <laughs> oh, Fire, do you want me to convert her? Starfire into you. You just give me the thumbs up and I'll do it for you. Oh, so this uh this uh rebel gaming is that actual uh game for the you said the the one, right? The Xbox One or three sixty or PS3? I own them all, brother, but yeah, um I I'll game whatever on it's Rebel Gaming's my gaming channel. It's my game streaming channel. Okay. So I think it's like Overwatch on there, Wrestling, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5, Dead or Alive, um, Soul Calibur 6, games like that. I was just wondering in which game that you made the characters in. This is WWE 2K19 on the Xbox One. Oh, okay. I do not have an Xbox One yet. <laughs> You don't have time to do the Xbox. You need to do your artwork. 
Unfortunately, Pope Fire, I can't change the costume. But I can give her the hat and shorter her hair if that's what you want. And Jack. Oh, my Lord. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I like Killer too. Oh, uh, my God. I know. That's awesome. It's a Simpson. <laughs> it's not a doing? Simpson. It's a Dillard. <laughs> Dillard. Dillard and the Simpsons. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I was going to... Uh... <laughs> I don't know if I should or not. I was gonna go go live right now with a uh, Pope Fire and Good Dog viewer still uh, still stream. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's telling me I'm already in a video call. I guess I can't do two at the same time. Oh. She, she went on for like about two minutes. <laughs> it was interesting. So what's new? What's new is I'm. I'm finally streaming after so many days of being sick. Oh, you don't sound I'm, like you just got over it. You've been getting over I'm it uh, in the last few days. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that part was in here. What, what's, hap what's happening? What am I doing? <laughs> you're, just, you're just here to piss off Pope Fire. I see. I see. <laughs> That's just mean. Uh, I've been told to relay a message. Fundara calls you a dirty, rotten skunk. Uh, I've been known to be called that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he also gave me several other words, but I can't use them on the show. <laughs> Is that from Teddy? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Teddy. Teddy's He's a. Still... Mm -hmm, what, mm -hmm. What's wrong with little Teddy? Teddy. Well, Teddy I don't broke... know. Teddy got his heart broken. He, he, he you broke his heart. heart. Not to mention, yeah. uh, I I can't help but uh, I can't help but notice Naobi has a wrench. Uh, what's what's uh, what's up with that? <laughs> Whoa. You uh, called it, Manny. <laughs> what's going on here, Manny? And I told Niobe got a wrench because I don't have power over my my stupid uh, mouse I today. See. So All right. he just put a link in there, and that was it. And I told him just for tonight. All right. I'm going to oh, see what Pokefly is doing real quick. Oh, are you on I a think leash? she's doing something as well. Are you on a leash? Uh, I am. <laughs> uh, I am. Yeah. I was like, you can't shame him, Manny. The man has no self-respect. Uh, yeah, exactly. You... Exactly. What do I need that but, for? That's useless. But, but you know, I do have a question. How did you like your wolf girl? Oh, uh, I, I, I loved it. It, um, it. Br that's the only thing that has ever brought me r true shame. So thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Drawing that piece of crap. I, I did enhance it a little bit. You did. Uh, you did. Anybody wants to know okay. what I'm talking about? Nah, you, you changed the you, you you changed it into an actual set of abs. I don't like that. It was never a dong. <laughs> uh, this is what be right back. Uh, this is what we're talking about. So what happened was uh, I took Booster's original that's on the left, and I shrunk some things and enlarged some things and did a did some line weights. <laughs> and made it better but it's still his drawing you know it, he still did the breakdowns i just enhanced it <laughs> and i and i used the wily coyote a uh, color scheme for the for the end product they came out pretty good compared to what i started out with oh my lord <laughs> so i forget which stream i did that on Alrighty, and then we're done with that since he ran away. Oh my goodness! Are you working on anything tonight, John? I just sent you a message there. Uh, what do you think about that? I don't even know who that is. Sorry. I wrote who it is. Well, well okay. I, well, <laughs> it's, it's got. I gotta wait. Okay. I, like I said, I'm working without a mouse, so uh, it's taking me a while to catch up. I'll quickly catch up with the chat too. Just uh, Lorenzo says, just teasing the Canadian devil is a South Park character. Uh, Adrian says, I think that was for something else because I left it too long. Uh, Manny PG13, remember, says Jonah. Uh, Adrian says, yeah, Rick, you got to be drawing comics. Cracks that whip. I think that was referring to when you were um, saying not to get the Xbox. 
Uh, Joshua says, hail brother John Dillard. Uh, and Adrian says, the Dillards, like Sim Simpsons. Uh, Trusty says, Booster. Pope Fire says, wait, you let Booster on? And then I don't understand um, caption emojis. Uh, and Pope Fire says, fine, I'm going with Web. Web? Web. I'm not sure I know who that is. Uh, Adrian yeah. says, quite a tact yeah, tactical move there, Manny. <clears throat> I brutalized that, sorry. Uh, Joan Art says, you guys ever been backed up on art before or couldn't finish a commission due to technical difficulties? And Web is streaming. Nope. Um, everyone's saying howdy to John Dillard. Well, Lorenzo is saying howdy, John Dillard. Aloha, John Dillard. Um, Lorenzo says, it's really good at Booster and Kiwi and Good Dog Press. Jonah says, send me... Uh, send me it to see it a bit better. Can barely make it out from the phone app. Uh, Kat is in the chat. Howdy, Kat. What are you guys drawing? Question mark. Um, Booster says, I'm in the doghouse now and Po Fire <laughs> is going to beat me again. <laughs> Wep is weaponized nerd rage. Oh, sweet. Cheers, Jonah. Um, and uh, Lorenzo says, Aloha to Kat. Uh, Booster says, you got me in trouble, Manny. The wolf is in here. Howdy, the wolf. Uh, that Captain Marvel is looking great. Cool. And we're caught up. And you got yourself in trouble, Booster. You're the one that hit the link. Well, I, I did tactically only give the link to Booster. Yeah, yeah but he chose to click it. Yeah, he chose yeah. to come on. <laughs> I'd like to make a comment on the Captain Marvel is looking great. Captain Marvel is about to get her ass handed to her by Avani. It's going to be brutal. Are you are you showing Captain Marvel now on your, your thing? It's Captain Marvel versus uh, the villain from Niobe, the one that we're doing the Kickstarter for. And she, uh, you know, she teaches Captain Marvel a little lesson here. And, you know, maybe to smile a bit more. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Cool. So let's run down what we got going on. We got Cross Comics doing a Skunk Girl Niobe mashup. We got Josh doing uh, My Hero Academia. I don't know what his name is, but I know that's actually really not even doing nothing. I'm sitting here drooling about YCOM still. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got Niobe showing more wrestling. There's his Avani versus Captain Marvel. Uh, we got Pablo doing a beautiful Vampirella. Very nice Pablo, as usual. There's Risey being a rising. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there is myself drawing Skunk Girl and Niobe, which is cool. And John Dillard uh, making a statement that he wants to be on The Simpsons <laughs> as a villain. I want to be on season three. Season three? What was so good about season three? Oh, that was before it sucked. Oh. I... No, I'm just trying to find this file. I was supposed to send this file that, uh, this colored file to Cat, and I'm trying to find it, and it's not working. I think I, have to, I haven't saved it in a JPEG. <clears throat> I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Cool. Uh, and I am sorry, but I'm trying to get over code people. So I'm trying to keep my commentary to a minimum. You put a uh, a scarf around your neck and drink some some nice hot lemon tea with some honey in it. True, true. But I need to go to work tomorrow, so yeah. Will, will tea keep you up? Yeah, I've been drinking a lot of soup, eating eating a lot of soup, mm. eating a lot of soups. Uh, staying in bed, not doing anything, which really pisses me off. This is the first time I'm actually drawing in three days. Yeah, so that kind of really ticks me off. Um, and everyone in the chat wants uh, Kat to get the link. So do you want me to send her a link if she She's wants to come in? She's got the link. Oh. She's in the gatekeepers. It was put in the gatekeepers.
<clears throat> and uh, Adrian says there needs to be some female in this panel. Laugh out loud. Uh, and the art of Reed says Manny sounds like he smelled a skunk. <laughs> I'm drawing a female, so there is a female here. Adrian said there needs to be some females in the panel. And it doesn't help that she's a Canadian, too. Um, I've got three Canadians on the panel. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's evening out now. Cross. We've got three Americans here, finally. <laughs> Who else is an American? Uh, Josh. Josh. Nah, good, good for you, buddy. <laughs> I'm an American. Miracle. Yeah, I was outnumbered. I had three to one. I had <laughs> Canadians and Australians in here. Uh, I had a Kiwi on here for a second as well. Yeah. And Hawaiians were barely even American. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Oh, uh, there goes John. Being John again. Uh, so John, how's your book going? Uh, the book's going great. What we're up to right now? I know the answer. I haven't, I haven't checked it. <laughs> 3,900, uh, $3,095. Oh, awesome. nice. Yeah. Nice. I was cracking. The last time I checked, it was uh, I think a little earlier. Somebody put, uh, oh, Mutt Man put a or Macho Dan made some meme. That's what? hilarious. Like, some Trump <laughs> meme about Tales from Beyond the Gate. Oh, I've seen that on Twitter. I think was that the one where he's like opening the uh, book and then he's moving it around. Yeah, yeah. I've seen so many people make memes of that. It's hilarious. Oh. I was like, oh, let me go check it out. And it was at like three thousand uh, and like change but i guess somebody else backed it since then cool i mean that was the last time i looked at it. that was when we first started the show so it might have gone up since then but it was three thousand let, let me go check it right now as a matter of fact three thousand ninety five when we first when we looked at it uh, we need an alaskan in here Who's yeah it's still there we need more Texans on this panel. No, nope, we don't need any Texans from this panel. <laughs> well, maybe DeWolf, if DeWolf is from Texas, but not the other Texan. Not, not the other Texan that started up a stream for two minutes. <laughs> That's the worst troll I've ever seen in my life. That was, that was hilarious. hilarious. It was hilarious. And I'm going to start up my own stream. <laughs> And she just ended it because you heard you said you were going over there, probably. Yeah. But I did get to say hello to all. So oh, that's fine. Yeah. She got uh, scared. Well, you know, it's like I said, you're not stealing anybody's viewers. You're just sharing them. Nobody's stealing anybody's viewers. You know? <laughs> Yeah, this is the picture that I was working on last night. I was supposed to be working on my book, but dude, I was working on it for like seven hours, right? And like, you know, when you get to that point where everything you do just turns into garbage. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, okay. And the cat came on and she had done some some line work for a Phantom of the Opera. I was like, oh, let me, let me color this. And then I ended up spending like three hours coloring this thing. It was awful. I'm about to give myself my own sore throat in this garage with the, the door open. It's like 32 degrees. You need a heater. And why why aren't you in the house? Because <clears throat> I smoke. Oh. <laughs> okay. I got my priorities in a row, man. You don't worry about me. Oh, you got your priorities. Uh, <laughs> I want to get cold and not finish my books. <laughs> uh, I, I would not be out there. That's freaking too cold. <laughs> I got a nice warm sweater. Oh, it's just like that at night. Come on. <laughs> I'll bet it's still cold in the daytime. We have Crypto Comics in the chat. Oh, Big shout out to Crypto. He says, BS, quit stealing my viewers, Manny. Oh, stop <laughs> it, Crypto. I do not steal your viewers. Nobody steals viewers. We share. Everybody shares sure. viewers. Come on. 
It's a big, wide world. It's not a zero-sum game. <laughs> what does that mean, zero-sum game? Zero-sum game, it, when people think that you only got enough money to go around, it's nobody gets it, – it, you can spread the pie around. You know, it's just because you have viewers doesn't mean that I can't have viewers. You know, oh yeah, talking about limited it, limited resources and yeah. all. Yeah, no, there there's yeah, no there's no such, no such thing as uh, limited yeah. resources. Yeah, I mean, people are gonna go. They're gonna come look at my stuff. Maybe they won't look at my stuff live. They'll come back tomorrow and look at it. They'll go look at John's stuff tomorrow. So it's we're sharing the viewers. Well, that's the great thing about YouTube is that you know, if, even if you miss it live, you can always catch it on the rewind. Yeah. And you know, it's not like we work for a, a television network here where we have to schedule our shows. You know, I mean, people do this when they can fit it in in their busy schedules and times. Sometimes it's it's going to overlap, and that's just how it is. You know, exactly. I mean, we all of us here on this panel, except for Rick, work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't work either. I can't. Oh, right. Oh, but oh, oh, Rick, Rick works. He just fleeced my wife for 20 bucks. Uh, for <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you in the chat. You're like, stop, stop. <laughs> you cracking me hey, up. Uh, I didn't you, do a thing. I just showed a picture. I just showed a pretty picture. So then I grabbed her phone this morning and I pretended that I was her and I made him color the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Crypto oh. Comics says, working on books to release this spring, and I was planning on streaming tonight, but Manny <laughs> sold my viewers in capitals. Crypto, you can go and stream. Come on. You got so this is Jimmy on your program all the time, which is pretty cool. You know, you got Niobe on your program. You know, I, oh, I'm, I, I'm always on Crypto Stream. Uh, as long as he'll have me, I'll, I'll, I'll be there, man. Yeah. Oh. So this game, this is a game, right? That you're playing Niobe? Well, this is a video I did yesterday. I'm not actually playing. I'm at work right now. <laughs> but right now we got Booster Kiwi fighting Skeletor. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Risey Lee's on this broadcast. Friendly Neighborhood Ninja's on this broadcast. Skunk Girl is on the broadcast. Sugar. Uh, Sugar. Uh, little girl lethal she's on the wrestling roster now <laughs> they're all there oh yeah i messed up cobra commander you did how can you mess up uh uh hero click no 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 he was in the he, in the match oh okay. uh with me on niobe's uh show <laughs> yeah it's just, it's what i call the bw case where pulp culture collides so, you know, whether you're in the movies, TV, anime, cartoon, pop culture icon, they all come to do battle here in the ring. Oh, well, there you go. Hey, Risey, I, from, the, from my side view, I can see the damn chat going. What the hell's going on in the chat? Yeah, no, I was waiting for the perfect time to catch up on it. <clears throat> um, Smokes, it's moving. Crypto says, oh, no, uh, Nobody read that already for us. Uh, Lorenzo, promote it on different shows if people let you, Crypto. Uh, Trusty says, Mrs. Gaming System is a good woman, and she definitely is. Uh, Pope Fire, evil laugh. <laughs> Lorenzo yeah. says, welcome back, Pope Fire. Uh, Adrian says, Pope Fire, you don't laugh, you cackle. Uh, Pope <laughs> Fire, evil cackle. <laughs> Adrian says, beat him down, booster. Joshua says, is that Booster vs. Skeletor? It is, Brother Joshua. Uh, Crypto says, at Lorenzo of Sleestack, golf sit out. Just play... Oh, man. I'm gonna I plan on to, for sure, just having artwork drawn over the next couple of weeks. Then need to get the pages from Pencil for Life colored. Crypto says, hail, Pope Fire. Uh, Trusty says, Pope Fire, dolphins when, dolphins when she gets really tickled about something. I'm not sure. Dolph is that Dolphins? I'm not. I, I read it wrong, probably. Uh, Lorenzo says, "Sounds like an excellent plan, Crypto." Um, and Crypto says, "Queen of Starfire matters." That's right. Starfire oh, matters. Thank you for that update. So, how many pages is the book now, John? Uh, I think right now it's sitting at 163. Holy smokies. So yeah, for thirty bucks, that's a, that's a pretty pretty good deal. I 
I think I messed up. I thought it was 12 pages, but I think it's 13. My story. Oh, that's I, went, fine. I went back. I was like, oh, there's another page that I forgot. Oh, I like, Damn it. What do you think of that message I sent? Is it too late or should we uh, go ahead and add him? Uh, I'll talk to you afterward. Don't want to don't want to see anything on screen. Joshua Hughes says Raven matters a lot more than Starfire. Ah. <laughs> That's true, though. Blackfire is better, better character. Hello. Howdy, cat. How's everyone? Hello, cat. Uh, oh. Good. Hello, hello. Hey, Kat, how are you? All right. Um, are you going to be streaming? Because it just says on your thing that it's like waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> just wondering. No, I'm not. I was going to throw that up there as a as a joke and then come in here, but. Uh... Oh. <laughs> So, Kat, I hear you're Canadian like the rest of us. Yeah, yeah, I'm normal. Yeah, yeah you're normal. <laughs> <laughs> now, not trying to dox you or anything, but like, uh, like I'm in New Brunswick. Are, are you far away from us or what? Oh, I live in Saskatchewan. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, of all the Canadians, who are supposed to be the most normal Canadians? Well, she's out in the prairies. I mean, there's lots of flatland over there and groundhogs. Um, Rick is yeah. in Ontario. That's probably yeah. the, the hub of Canada. I'm on the Maritimes, you know, where everyone thinks we talk funny with an accent, eh? Cool. Uh, they think we all talk funny, eh? Eh? Yeah, oh, don't, eh? Don't the get the, that, an Irish Canadian? I'm going to get the chat started. One, one night the chat did that the whole freaking night. That went on for a few chats, not just here. I've seen yeah. it spread out everywhere. Yeah, it went, started from my chat, went to another chat, and like, what the hell, people? Well, speaking of the chat, Art of Reed says, oh, Canada. You got that right, sir. Canada. <laughs> yeah, catch up. Not, another Canadian. Yeah, yeah well, like I said, he's about an hour and 20 minutes away from me, so he's a third timer, too. Uh, he's, he's got the link also. Oh, man, you should come on in here. Well, yeah. Anybody More in the Canadian, Jay. <laughs> It's called the Canadian Takeover, eh? <laughs> Canadian Takeover. Eh? We should get Ryan Cardinal in here. No, we can we stand on a coast to coast. Why are you? Why are you echoing, dude? Rick, Who me? Yeah, you start to echo big time. I don't know why. Uh, or you're you're normal now. If you call that normal. Oh. We get Ryan Cardinal in here. We can be Canada coast to coast. Uh, he's he's real busy right now. He's gonna start. He's gonna start uh, streaming again. But yeah, yeah. Because yeah. so, he's in BC, I believe. So. Yeah, he's. Yeah, I've been keeping in touch with him, so he he'll be he'll be back soon. You've been talking about that Canada coast to coast for some time now, Rick. How close are you to getting that uh, together? I don't know. Well, oh. we've got uh, we've now got uh, Naomi. We've got Cat, myself. I haven't really been introduced to uh, Ryan Cardinal. We've been on a stream or two together, but Cat, you agree to this uh, Canada coast to coast? Uh, what's going on? <laughs> I never said she agreed to it. I just said, <laughs> you know, it, I said to I said it to her before. She didn't say yes or no. I'm saying <laughs> it's a possibility. And when is Green. this? Oh, it's not necessary. When is this going to be on, Rick? So I can go up against you again. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. We, we, we need to get to, what, another 10? Or no, that's four. Another six guys from Canada. One from Alberta. Uh, one from uh, Quebec. Um, one from Manitoba. One Where's from uh, Manitoba? Damn. <laughs> you said you're in New Brunswick, right, uh? Yes, sir. So one from Nova Scotia and one, then one from, um, what's the name of it? <laughs> PEI. 
what is and of course that doesn't include any of our or one of any of our three territories Oh yeah, that's the Yukon and Northwest Territory, and I forget what the third one's called because that's really none of it. None, none of, of it. it. That's right. Yeah. Why are you excluding the those people? So what's going on? We're all going to draw together, or are we going to compete, or what? Well, I don't know. Maybe we just all draw together, talk. You know about Canada. Oh, I think we should have a we should have a Canadian draw off. That'd be pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and then you can invite like one American so they can show you all up. <laughs> all host we'll do it on my channel. Uh, it'll be called the Canadian Takeover, and uh, all Canadians, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll get her done. <laughs> Definitely sounds good. You know, I've I'll, been I'll thinking have to about make, it for a while. Like Canada only, you know, like. Uh, is Willie, Willie's in, uh, New Brunswick too, eh? So, <laughs> not Nova Scotia. Jonah Art asked me, Niobe, can we have old she versus new she Um, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh, and we've got JP in the chat now too. Um, so howdy JP. I'll catch up on some of this. Uh, Lorenzo says, I think I, no, wait, Joshua was asking if you had been on Manny's stream before, Kat. <laughs> what the f <laughs> uh, um, Joshua, I was trying to make trouble. Yeah, and then Crypto says, who do you, who do John Dillard and Jimmy Crick, do, Cricket sound alike? I think that there is a conspiracy. Um, and then Joshua says, at Crypto Comics, what they don't sound alike though. Uh, Lorenzo says, I think I saw Cat on here before at Joshua. Crypto says, does Cat choose to live in SK or does she have some sort of deliberating eh, disease that prevents her from moving? <laughs> yeah, it's called family. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. SK stands for Saskatchewan, Risey. Sorry? SK stands for Saskatchewan. Ah, all right. Cheers. Thanks. Rick. Doesn't matter. Uh, we don't care. And <laughs> it's O Canada, eh? Uh, Wolfie, my bad. Paste on accident. Uh, the art of read. Echo, eh? Uh, a, 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 a. Uh, the Canadian competition sounds good, eh? Says Crypto. Uh, <laughs> JP says hi there. Joshua says hi to JP. Pope Fire is laughing out loud again. Crypto says none of it. Uh, the wolf says, laugh out loud, John. And Jonah says, oh, no, you caught that. Um, Abe, I'm down for that, A. Eh? Crypto says, good dog will need to be on there. He can be an unofficial Canadian man, A. Eh? Yeah, man. <laughs> Jonah says, my money is on Japanese Spider-Man. And Jim E. Oatmeal says, Pope Fire is on stream with 100 viewers. Take that, man. <laughs> well... Being in a chat on EVS does not count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's okay, Pope Fire. <laughs> the biggest troll that I have. I thought that was Joshua. Uh, doesn't matter. Tonight it's her. I that was uh, I thought that was Woman Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Linda. Oh. <laughs> Linda was a big troll, yes. <laughs> Hopefully we never see Linda again. Right, Rick? Not as me. It will be my mom if it is you see her. Did you give her back her <laughs> thing, Rick? Did you change yeah. it back to her name, you naughty boy? I oh. kept it as King's Kid, which is what she wanted. Oh, my Lord. Uh. And as I said, she was right there oh, the whole time. Yeah, but you know that I'm not going to fight against a woman in my chat. So you're doing pretty mean things that like. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's like, I see a woman attacking me. I'm like, well, okay, that's oh, cool. That's not really attacking. Come on. <laughs> that's no worse than anybody else in your chat does. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
It was just you didn't know who it was for, coming from. I even said you had good art. Come on. No, you didn't. <laughs> you just say did. <laughs> oh my lord, Rick. You need to go look at the transcripts. It's there for everybody to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's all there for everybody to see. It's going to be under King's Kid. It, it was not King's Kid the night. It was actually Linda. Linda Mac something. I forget what Mac it was. McTavish. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, Linda's kind of spicy tonight. She's coming after me. Leave that alone, Manny. <laughs> Don't want to look like a mean person to a woman. So I just let it go. Yeah, then I find out the next day, like, damn, that just didn't seem right. Let me go investigate who this person is. And then, yeah, Rick. And then Rick denied it. That was the funny part. Rick denied it. That's not me. I never, de I never denied that's it. not me. I'm like, oh, Rick, that's your email address, King's Kid. Come on. It's not my email address. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's my mother's email address. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I want to know it, why it, Manny it, has Rick's mom's email address. Uh, rising <laughs> after that, the rising <laughs> after that, when we're looking at Rick's uh we we're looking at Rick's uh what the hell were we looking at Risey? Oh, remember that night we were looking at it in the private private room? Oh, I'm, I'm usually pretty drunk in those private oh, <laughs> We're looking at Rick's, uh, his uh, Kickstarter and stuff. And then we. we oh, yeah. And you backtracked oh, it. To, yeah. 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 We're, we're trying to. We wanted to actually buy the book. So we wanted to go look at it. So it was, when we got there, it was like, hey, look, it says King's Kid. It's like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, it, that I used her PayPal account at the time to you know put the money into. I didn't have my PayPal set up at the time. Mm. Back to my Kickstarter, but great. I have my own PayPal set up, as <laughs> probably everybody here knows by now. Is that like some sort of a tax dodging thing? <laughs> no, well, seeing as the book didn't fund, <laughs> it ain't no tax dodging, nothing. Oh, Rick. Rick. It was, and it was, of course, like I said, I'll. Put under my name. Rick is Rick. What can you say? You're funny there, Rick. You're welcome. Hey, you made made a few of my streams, you know, lively the next couple of days. People loved it. I don't know why you're so upset about the major maple leaf. <laughs> it's just a complete mockery of me. It's, and called, my hair. it's a parody. It's not a mockery. And I'm telling you, if you use maple syrup for uh, Canadian Shield, it would be a big hit. They're trying to help you here, Rick. You know, parody is for independent comics. There's only two kind of independent comics that sell, and it ain't superheroes. Superheroes, you compete against the big two. It ain't going to be that. It's a parody and horror. If you're not in those two categories, you ain't going to sell your books, you know? So if you do a parody on the Canadian Shield, you make a mint, dude. You have a superhero yeah. that has maple syrup powers. Oh man, that would fly off the shelves. People would actually dumb power. Yeah, I don't, uh, most Canadians <laughs> I don't think would buy it. We're not going for the Canadian market. We're going for the American market. Canadians don't buy anything, Rick. What are you talking about? <laughs> we buy it stuff. Trust me, I know we buy stuff. <laughs> I buy doing? comics, or I used to buy comics on a regular basis. You guys buy Canadian. Uh, you guys uh, buy maple syrup from Americans. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, that's probably just to make up for the stuff that we can't produce ourselves, which is probably more than what we buy from you. What cool was that? Not sure. Do you want me to catch up on the chat? It's starting to go fast again. Oh yeah, go for it. Uh, Jonah says, "Can we have the white, the white uh, match white box?" Uh, Mrs. Game in the systems. Hello, howdy, Mrs. Game in the system. Uh, did anyone say Linda? Question mark. Um, Jimmy Eric Mill says, "I need. I'm just going to start calling it Jimmy." Uh, Joshua used to be the biggest troll of Good Dog Press before Manny put a leash on him. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
and Joshua, uh, Josh, not Joshua, Josh Chris Art, Laugh Out Loud computer update. We'll catch you guys later. Mm. So I think his computer is um, either updating or it updated and it kicked in. Um, everyone's saying howdy. Uh, Adrian says sci fi, question, question mark. Uh, Lorenzo says, Manny keeps freaking me out by leaving the faces till last to draw. Um, and then Adrian says, What about sci fi indies? And we're caught up. It wasn't as much as I thought. Sorry. Yeah, Lorenzo, it's, it's the hardest part. I don't want to screw up the skunk girl. And I'm, I'm kind of, it's kind of hard trying to blend skunker and Niobe together. Uh, especially with her, her tail in the background. So I'm trying to not, not do too much blacks over Niobe. So, it would have been funny if you had like the tail tail wrapped around her, you know, and keeping her warm or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe next time. Yeah. I just wanted to do that back to back thing. Maybe they're getting closer than we thought, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Could could be a team up cover. There you go. <laughs> Have a team up with Niobe, Skunk Girl, and uh, Little Girl Lethal. That'd be awesome. Man, the trick in the Yeah. <laughs> And one other genre that does really well, Rick, hot chicks. Hot chicks. Yeah. Hot chicks. <laughs> yeah. Hot chicks. If you're going to be independent, make sure you do a hot chick. Nobody's going to want to see a hot guy. Just, just beware, Rick, if you went that route. But, you know, you might get the, uh, you're a misogynist or sexist thing thrown at you here and there. Oh, yeah. I don't care about that. <laughs> I'm anything but that. <laughs> Anybody that knows me knows that. <laughs> I don't care what. Some nobody from nowhere thinks about me or wants to say about me. When I was going with my wife, I mean, I showed her all my paintings and stuff. I'm like, this is what I paint. Hope you're not offended. She was like, no, nah, it's fine. And she, I mean, nothing was nothing was disgusting or anything, but there were nudes. Like, yeah, well, I went you to know, art school. I did nude paintings and nude uh, drawings. That's what classes you had to take. Jeez, what the hell? That's called life drawing. Like, yeah, uh, life drawing, yeah. life painting. It's like big yeah. deal. You know? You had live nude models in front of you. That's what you had to draw. JP's offended, Manny. What? <laughs> JP, just right. I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> JP. Oh, though. man. Now, if it was a, if it was a nude train, it'd be turned off. <laughs> and you know there are women that like the look of a sexy woman i've had more girls at shows by niobe than actual men so cool yeah well a lot of girls like drawing pretty girls kind of a thing yeah yeah sure nothing wrong with it Uh, and Lorenzo had a thing to say to you too. Uh, it creates an uncanny valley effect not to have a face, but I think every artist has a body part that they find difficult. Um, and then the wolf says Quasar versus Green Lantern. I'm not sure what that entails, but that would be an awesome fight. He loves those two characters. Oh, well, yeah. No, I've heard him talking about Quasar before, and it was like cool to hear someone actually talk about Quasar because I actually like that character as well. He probably wants to see them in the wrestling ring. It's probably what he's after. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's it. I, I actually uh, did. Which, which Green Lantern, the wolf? But there's only one Green Lantern as far as I'm concerned. That's Hal Jordan. <laughs> Guy Gardner. Well, Guy Gardner's pretty cool. And I got to admit, I like Jesse. You know, I, I like them all, but if I had to pick my favorite, I'm going to go with, with Hal. Yeah, oh, I'd go with I, now. No, if, if I have to pick my favorite uh, Green Lantern, it's uh, uh it's Kilowog. No, that's a good pick. Yeah, my favorite's Kyle, followed by uh, Hal, followed by probably Kilowog. I dressed up as Kilowog for Halloween, and my son was Guy Gardner. A couple that's years. Awesome. I remember buying like Justice League International and Justice League Europe, and there's lots of Guy Gardner there. And Batman was always giving him a hard time, you know. Yep, and then Batman beat him up in one punch. <laughs> Actually, ring. that's not beat him out. That, that's not beat him up. That's just knocked him out. <laughs> like, take your ring off. You little stupidest mistake. <laughs> 
I loved it when Supergirl got the red ring. That was great. The red daughter of Krypton. Oh, yeah, that was cool. Fantastic little mini mini series crossover. Yeah, that was actually a pretty fun run, that Red Lanterns run. I mean, I started reading it because I got into, I'll start, uh, I learned about the Red Lanterns from that animated Green Lantern show, and I was hoping, I kept hoping that that Razor character that was on the show would show up, and then I did some research. I'm like, he's not even a comic character they made him for the show. Uh, actually, I think he did appear before the comic book, Razor. Oh, he did? Uh, but I don't think he was, I don't think he was Razor. Yeah, uh, that sucks. Because yeah, there, no, was a, like there was there was there was an Earth Red Lantern, and he was oh the only one that could do construct. No, oh, nice. We'll have to look into it. Let's see if I can track that down. A little sneezing fit. <laughs> That might be even before New 52, so, or Rebirth. <coughs> Lorenzo says, drawing sexy women will probably get cross-comic dates. The soy boys don't get dates. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, Rick, I think that's what we got to do for you, buddy. You got to start drawing some hot women so we can get you hooked up, brother. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a good idea. I, I need to be hooked up. I've been single for five years. So we'll, <laughs> I don't know about people. Man, that dog's mad at me. God. <laughs> it's like, get, get a girlfriend, Niobe. Damn it. Yeah, the dog is like, you know, barking at me. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? I think that dog was at cat. <laughs> Sorry, I'm pet setting. So this is Ninja versus who? This is Ninja versus Ice Cube. Ice Cube. Yeah, from NWA, West Side Connection, straight out of Compton. Uh, okay. He didn't start this gangster crap. Yeah. <laughs> it was a dog after a cat. <laughs> and so we're looking at cat's gray sleeve right now. Uh, why are we doing that? I've been joining it. <laughs> you just going down the line, see what people are doing. Um, if anybody wants to give me a suggestion for something to draw, go for oh, it. I got a suggestion. Yeah. yeah, draw me a new avatar for my channel. All right. What do you want? I want, uh, I want something, uh, I want, want my face, but in a, a very grizzled anime style. <laughs> grizzled anime style? <laughs> yeah, like I'm like I'm like a, a stern a teacher or something. Don't take no guff. Okay. Uh send me a picture. Uh and you're looking you're looking at a picture right now. Do you want me to go through drawing? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Might be a little harder, but okay. With a cigarette in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, you want a cigarette? Okay. <laughs> a teacher with a cigarette in their mouth at school. Uh you want a grizzled anime style. Okay, hold on. Let's see what I can do. Happened to me when I was going to college. This was back in the day where teachers still smoked in class. It's pretty awesome. Telling that you're mm -hmm. as they're, you suck as they're blowing smoke at your artwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Adrian says, my life, well, my love, I can't even say the word because it's been so long since I had a woman. My wife likes drawing pretty girls. Cool. And then JP says, actually, WW2 planes, war planes get me going. Damn. That, was, uh, <laughs> that one gets JP. Well, I, I guess everyone's got their thing, you know. Um, he's, just, he's just looking at the nose cone art. That's what he does. <laughs> JP's a man of many tastes. Oh, man. Uh, Trusty says, not Gnort. I don't know if anyone knows Nort. what that is. Nort. Oh, wait, I think that's a Green Lantern. Yeah, he's the, he's yeah. the North, North he's the dog. He's a dog Green Lantern. Yeah. And then uh, the wolf says, you have that right, and there's one Green Lantern mostly. Uh, Lorenzo says, even feminist sons like dating soy boys. 
don't like oh, even feminists don't like dating soy boys <laughs> man yeah. it's so hard to get a date right now it really is i mean the, the a lot of these girls especially in my area have become sjw's and hardcore feminists and they don't want anything to do with anybody but each other i don't know how we're supposed to expect to reproduce you know like well that's part of the plan they don't want you to <laughs> Yes, let the human race die off. <laughs> oh, man. So, well, I'm yeah. trying to find JP4 Scarlett Johansson lab so I, I can just get a clone of Scarlett Johansson and I'll start That's a family with my clone. Biggest, sir. You watch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> How many future Mrs. Higgins are there? I thought Alexis Bliss was Mrs. Yeah, Higgins. she's part of the harem, too. <laughs> uh, I, you know, uh, I got a polygamous uh, thing going on here, Rising. All right, well, let the race begin. Right. <laughs> God. Oh, John, you took your icon off. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry about that. <laughs> you want me to draw something. <laughs> I my image, and now it's gone. Uh, you know, you should just send me an actual picture of your face, and then I can go off of that. Oh, Lord. Excuse me. Excuse That'd be me. so I, much easier. I, I don't do that. I get a lot of stalkers. <laughs> <laughs> Cat, he doesn't want to traumatize you, you know. Yeah, I'll send you a picture of my real face when you send me a picture of your real face. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. I think I got one somewhere. In there. By the way, I put out my first speed drawing today on the channel. Oh, cool. What? Cool. Yeah. I gotta I go see out. that. <laughs> it was the Phantom of the Opera one. <laughs> nice. Oh, you recorded it while you were drawing it? Uh, yeah, while well, I inked it. And it took oh. me like two and a half hours to ink. Um, so how long so is the video in total? The video is 18 minutes. Whoa, Damn. that's not drawing. <laughs> it's long time. Yeah, yeah. Cause, and, it, and I cut out a lot, too. Um, so I don't even have it fully inked on there because I took out when I was doing most of the line art, but when I was doing like the heavy blacks, that's when I when I kind of kept on, but it was still sped up quite a bit. The speed drawings, people only watch about 30 seconds of it. They watch the first 10 seconds and they go to the last 20 that's seconds. That's why my speed drawings are only 20 yeah. seconds long. Yeah. <laughs> You want to make well, them as short as possible. Well, the thing is, I've uh, been watching a different style of speed drawings that some um, some other artists have done on YouTube. Where, and this is just my first one, so I was just testing it out. But some some of them they will um, do a speed drawing, but have it a little bit longer, and they will um, have commentary on it. And they're either they'll like talk about you know funny stories or you know talk about things that interest them. You know, they'll have like a topic for each drawing. Um, and I've been really enjoying those ones. So I was just, you know, my first one, I was just playing around with it. So I didn't really have too much to talk about, but, uh, yeah, people I, will actually listen as long as you're talking about what you're drawing. As soon as you kind of stop and the, the music goes back on, they kind of tune out and start fast forwarding. Oh, I don't even, yeah, I don't have any music on there. <laughs> it's just pure me talking. So, <laughs> uh, um, I've just, I mean, that's, I've never done this before, so it's just basically me trying to figure out how to do it. Well, that's cool. I'll go check that out. Watching it right now. I think we should all go check that out and share the video. Yeah, yeah share my video. <laughs> I don't know. I got all these pictures in my phone of me, but they're all doing stupid poses for my comic book. <laughs> <laughs> I know my friend wants me to my friend wants me to draw a profile picture too. I'm also gonna have to do that. Do you want me to color it or do you just want a black and white? Uh ooh, I don't know. We'll just do it in black and white first and then uh and then maybe after we'll color it. Okay. Uh, and JP says, John, she told you that last night. I think that was about the uh, recording. Yep. And um, <laughs> Pizza Ranch, Jeremy just showed up. He says, did anyone say pizza? 
Hey, I haven't seen Pizza Ranch in a while. I've seen him on Cross the Show. The chat. He hasn't been on my, He's only been on mine like once. Yeah. All right, there you go, cat. There's a picture of me in my in my work, <laughs> in my work vest. <laughs> so serious. I'm always serious, dead serious. All right, so whatever you do, Manny, don't don't highlight me because I'm gonna go watch Cat's video and I'm screen sharing right now. So I'm gonna get a, you'll get a copyright strike from Cat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay. Was gonna promote her, but guess not. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. I don't even know what your YouTube YouTube is. I don't know your Twitter. Um, it's Cat yeah, R. Cat R. Uh, yeah. You can find. Yeah, I have it on my Twitter. You can find the link. I'll put it into our chat here. Please, because I want to add her up. Oh, there you, oh, you got twenty-four <laughs> subscribers. Nice. I do. Yeah, just dropped it in the chat box thing here. Oh, this is your first video. Damn. Yeah. That's why I was just playing around with it. Why the hell was I subscribed to you if you have no video? Because <laughs> uh, you know her. She's been in your chat several times, in your panel several times. All right, you just got a new subscriber. Awesome. What's your uh, Twitter? Uh, hold on. I'll type it in chat. Or no, I probably don't have a wrench. Cat gaming. Oh, that's why I dropped. I don't have a wrench either, but that's why I dropped it into our the stream chat thing here on the panel. I don't know what this is actually called. The Graham room chat. That's what we can call it. <laughs> the panel chat. Panel chat. Secret chat. I don't know. I don't like secret chat because that implies like we're hiding stuff from people. <laughs> Literally, all it is is links. What if we are? <laughs> well, well, now you're gonna put thoughts in people's well, heads. Huh? Sometimes we try to hide stuff in here, and then Rick starts to read it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, I don't know. I don't know what that is saying. <laughs> Damn it, Rick. I'll, I'll just read to you. I'll put it in the chat you. here. The Rick, chat. Rick, be quiet. I'm oh. trying to listen to Cat talk. <laughs> Is it Cat Gone Gamer? Uh, I can't do that. I put it just in the chat. Uh, I didn't see it pop up. Is it in the YouTube chat? Yeah, it's not a link. Oh, okay, I got you. Um, Lorenzo says, I put it in the link in the chat, but I'm not a mod. Uh, can re people read my link? No, can't, I can't see well, it from my mobile. No, if you're not a mod, you can't put down a link. It, it just if, if he puts it in there, I can actually release it. And then Pizza Ranch Jeremy says, Aloha, did we order Hawaiian pizza? Look, I'm not following Joshua Hughes either. I'm going to be following him now. Boom. Oh, my Lord. Oh, you'll be getting DMs to join our cult thing. I'm gonna follow Pope Raven. Boom. Is that the link in the chat of uh, Risey? Sorry? Is that the Risey Lee 715? That's the link, right? Um yeah, the one that I put in our chat, that's for the YouTube video. Okay, I'm gonna put it in there. It's just taking me some time. I don't got a mouse. <laughs> uh, well, I think I'm gonna take off Manny. It's like Almost 20 after 12 here. That's oh, early, Rick. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for coming. Uh, I know it's like As one 20 after Rick. one where you're from, where you're at, Naomi. It is. But you're, but you're at work, too, so I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I got no choice but to be here. And be up. <laughs> <laughs> and be up. Oh, nice. Uh, Kat is plugging Tales from Beyond the Gate on her speed drawing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also have the link in the description. Oh, I, gotta oh, go. I should I do that, that, huh? <laughs> so, guys, chat me up about this book. If I was like, you know, just listening to you guys for the very first time, and I want to hear about uh, about this collaboration you're all involved in, well, how would you sell it to me? Oh wow, she got you got effects on there. It says thanks for watching and everything. <laughs> you're not listening to Niobe. <laughs> One cat. Yes. Sorry, uh, don't put me on the spot. I'm shocked. Oh, this is a question for everybody. I mean, all you guys seem to be a part of this book. Why don't you tell me all about it? Uh, 
Oh, this is dead silence. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Come on. All right. Here. Tales he from my Beyond the Gate is a fantastic, <laughs> it's a huge, massive, and it's the actual first. <laughs> collaboration from uh, all of comics gate and uh, you get like 163 pages for 30 bucks it's a fantastic deal As a matter of fact let me go back to these google hangouts i'm screen sharing right now so let's go to tales from beyond the gate the actual page here we go right here this is our fantastic cover done by model 316 another person in our community and the lettering is done by willie reed and uh this this project was meant uh to be um a, a way for up and coming creators to showcase their skills and for people uh, that are interested in independent comics to, to see these creators and hopefully back them, hopefully, uh, you know, become uh, fans of what they can do. I mean, we have some some fantastic artwork um, showcased on the page itself. And you can see here, here's the, the, the cover in full view. There it is. And uh, we got uh, Bill Hart from Argos Creations working on it. Uh, he has a story called Manticore. Here's a story I'm working on called Lydia. Uh, another one I'm working on, Forbearance, like a, a caveman story about tragedy and loss. And uh, another classic horror story from the South America called La Llorona. Uh, we have j -Paz Studios, who was one of the guys that uh, uh, came over from a, a little different community. But uh, he's joined us, and, and this is, a, this is a, a title page for his work. We have Eric Weathers, who is the premier letterer for Comicsgate. And uh, he has a story in here with uh, the wolf uh, called Horrors at Hatin. Or Hatin, and then uh, Kevin Stewart. Ooh, Kevin Stewart and this 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 killer this killer spaceship. Yeah, he has a a horror uh, spaceship. Uh, I think it's a sci-fi space horror story, kind of like Aliens or That's something like awesome. that. Yeah, it's 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 looking really really good. And we got uh, we got Mutt Man and Macho Dan, and they're working on a story called Anastasia. And uh, let's see, we got uh, Count Rorschach by Todd Mulroney, which is. Uh, it's a it's a revenge horror story. This uh, this lady's in here selling this this old actor's stuff on eBay, and this story is about revenge and satisfaction. And uh, we got uh, a story called Curios. Is it now? Is it Curiosity or Curiosity Revived the Cat? Curiosity Revived the Cat. Okay, so I have to change that, but that means that that's a long title. So your name's gonna get real small. <laughs> Do you want me to leave it as Curiosity, or you want me to put the whole thing? Let's leave it as Curiosity right now. Okay. Yeah, and this is the page he's working on. I think it's page two around there. So, yeah, good stuff there. And then uh, we got uh, Pixel Trader, who is a uh, who is the man that runs uh, IndieCron, the one that uh, chronicles all of the uh, the Indie, Indiegogo projects that the Comicsgate community is putting out. And so there you go right there. And he's working on a... And this is actually... Uh, this is one of the things also that we wanted to showcase um, is people have their own upcoming projects. You know, and this is we wanted to, this project was meant to not only expose these artists, but also provide them with some seed money to get their projects off the ground so that the community at large can enjoy it. And uh, this right here, it says an aggressor tale underneath the, the word rabbit, because uh, he, he's working on a board game called aggressor. And this is like a module, like a little a snippet. This story is like a little snippet from one of the uh, one of the, uh, the squadrons in his universe. So that should be a that should be interesting. And of course, we got cats a, a story here for free. You can go and check out the story free right there. At the, you just follow the link into that Dropbox, and uh, you can read the the story in its entirety. Now the it's not colored or anything, but the the story is there, so you you can read that and enjoy it. <clears throat> and yeah, and you can read all this if you want. But the main thing you need to know is that uh, you know this backing this campaign is going to. It's actually one of. It's actually a campaign in the in the most traditional sense, meaning this is not a store. You don't click and buy. This is something that you want to fund you want it's it's like a uh, it's like donating money to a uh, uh you know to, to for somebody to be mayor you know it's it's you you're donating to these two creators so that you can see uh them do great work in the future yeah it's fundraising a lot of people don't understand that about uh these platforms like kickstarter and indiegogo you know a lot of people look at it as like a pre-order store that's not really quite what it is <laughs> you know what i mean mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like, it's, like i said it's like npr you know you know, we, you know, we, we appreciate the support from viewers like you. And if you back at this level, you'll get this perk, you know, mm -hmm. it's, 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 you get a perk. It's not, you're not buying something, but if you back at a certain level, you will get, um, certain things, you know, we have stretch goals and then when we get this book, get, uh, cause we have a lot of things to offer. So the stretch goals will have a, a, a plethora of things to buy. And of course, because this project is uh, for the community by the community, you know, we have a, a, a couple of sponsors, professional, uh, industry legends as sponsors for this book. You know, we have uh, James Hudnell, who's donating a story to the book, Mike Barron, donating a story to the book. Um, 
Ethan Van Skyver and John Maylon are both donating one page stories. And Gary Shipman uh, is donating a three page story that he wrote and illustrated. You know, and they want this book to succeed because they, they can see the uh, the value of it. They can see well, look how, at how the it's. of names there. You guys got all these wonderful people that have put in art and, and story. And then you guys got uh, the big pro sponsors, man. It's quite the collection of names uh, uh, associated with this book. It is, it is. And uh, as soon as we get some artwork from Tank, well, he'll, he'll be thrown up on here too. And uh, we got a couple other people that uh, have some stuff coming in that are not quite finished yet. And this campaign is just growing and growing. And we have some pretty pretty decent deals here on the side, uh, you know, the perks if you uh, if you back at, at certain levels. The one we're, we're, we're pushing right now, the, the, the Gatekeeper Special, as it is. Um, is uh, you know with the gatekeeper special, you'll get the uh, the tales from beyond the great graphic novel. Of course, you'll get two uh, stickers you can throw up on the back of your truck or whatever. Uh, a high quality print poster, and of course the uh, high quality crypto fashion official tales from beyond the gate black T-shirt, and it has the uh, the logo, the, uh, the the title on the the front with the logo on the sleeve. Pretty dope shirt, and uh, it's one of those shirts that it's a comic book shirt that you you're not embarrassed to wear, you know, out to the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this. Since this is like a collection of stories from a variety of, of creators that's within the community. Is there going to be like a Tales Beyond the Gate like part two where you'll bring in different creators and, and do uh, other stories? Is it going to be like a continuous like anthology of, of creators? Yeah, it's going to be an annual anthology. And if it funds, if it funds and it does well, then yeah, of course, next year. Because um, after this fulfills, uh, somewhere around, uh, I think it's going to be September when it fulfills, uh, we'll start. If it, if it fulfills and it does well, I mean, we're, we'll churn right over and start working on Tales from Beyond the Gate, sci-fi. Now, what, what's the funding goal that you guys need to succeed here? Uh, we are going to be, we set it at 10000 And what are, And what are we at right now? Uh, right now we are at 3000 uh, Let me go back up and look. $3,095. And so how we're many at 30 days of our fixed goal, and we got about 56 days left. All right, guys, if you're listening, and I know you all are, got to jump on this. Uh, you got to help make this happen. I mean, all these guys are putting their heart and soul in, into this collection. This isn't about money. This is about getting cool stories out to you. And you get them all in one volume. And you just look at the list of names that he just went over. Um, this is this is a book uh, by the community for the community. Yeah. I mean, if you look at these names down here, these people, I mean, you follow these people. These are people in our community. You know Chester Busby. You know Tom DeWolf. You know Manny Correa. You know Cat. You know Pixel. Come on, you know Pixel. You even know this. You even know this guy over here on the bottom left, Nasser. You know him. Dick <laughs> Nasser. Yeah. And if yeah, we reach our, we're, we're talk talking about getting a stretch goal together, and it's going to be great because if we actually do reach this stretch goal, I'm going to be excited. We're going to put a stretch goal together that if we get to a certain amount of money, we'll actually perforate Nasser's pages so you can take them right out of the book. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys had a chance to go on the big show, talk with the EVS, and promote the book yet? Uh, not so much. I mean, I did get on EVS's show uh, two days ago for about okay. five minutes. Okay. <laughs> but he, it was it was about ten minutes before the show ended, so not too much. But yeah, we've been Would we've been hitting, be the, oh, I've been hitting the campaign channel. trail hard. I'm sorry, what's that? Would you be willing to come over to my channel sometime this week to talk about it? Absolutely. Epic. We'll, we'll work that out so that, uh, you, know, I'll, I'll, you know, any one of you guys that's involved in the book, come on over sometime this week. We'll, we'll pick out a day. And, you know, uh, I, I got a couple of different people that might watch the channel that's not part of, of this chat here. You know, the more eyes you can get on it, every backer counts, right? No, every backer counts and every supporter counts. If you can't back, that's fine. But please just share. Share yeah. out this Indiegogo page. Let people know what we're doing over here because that helps tremendously. Because getting to new people – is one of the hardest things you can do as a YouTuber and share helping us share stuff out is invaluable. Well, I'm thinking maybe Thursday night if you guys are available. What time? Um, pick a time for me. I mean, I'm home all day Thursday, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so I will be on your show for eight hours on Thursday. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eight hours screen, so. yeah uh, just send me a message in my DM when you want to do it and I will make time available. Sounds good, brother. I, I will definitely be there. But yeah, no, we have the, the and if you want to just get the book by itself and, and not get the, you know, the other, the other cool perks, you could just buy the book for, for $30. And uh, then there's the, you can get a $5 discount if you buy two. So there's the screen with the friend perk. And then this one here is what I was talking about. This one's called the patron of the arts. And oh, look, somebody's already claimed this. I like that. Nice. Yeah. And the patron of the arts is important because 
the reason we had people showcase their artwork on this page is so that the, the, the contributors can see the artwork and, and what you can do with the patron of the arts is, uh, you'll get everything that the, that we have to offer. And also an eight by 10 black and white commission from one of the artists in this story. And of course, not the, not the pros, but anybody else that's contributing to this, to this book, you so know, and then we're just going to help them, you know, I'm sorry. Do they get to pick the artists that they want? Like, say if I back that, I'm like, okay, I want Kat to do the drawing. Is, is that how it works? Or Yep, that's exactly how it works. Beautiful. Yep. So, as, again, that's what the thing. We, this is all, like I like I have down here, uh, it's talking about, uh, you know, succeeding on merit, you know? So, if, if you're, because, again, again, we're going to be adding more images to this page as it goes on. So, people will get a good sense of exactly what these artists do and their style. But uh, if I could read this right here, it says, uh, you know, during this tumultuous time in the comic industry, it is more important than ever to support the independent creators. This anthology will serve as a beacon to all creators that have become disenfranchised and demoralized by an industry that refuses to allow them to create and succeed based on merit. And that's what this is all about. You know, if your book, if your story succeeds and thrives, then, you know, by that, that, that's how it works. If it dies, then let it die, you know. And if and if uh, people like your work, then they're gonna they're gonna take you and they're gonna support your work, which is why we set it up that they get to choose the fans, and the community gets to choose which artist they want. So yeah, if you have a, a particular artist that you're a great big fan of, you commission them for an eight by ten, and you'll get it. Well, I can tell you this: I'm already watching Cat uh, do her drawing here, and Cat, I gotta ask you, how good are you at drawing women, by the way? <laughs> uh, I'm. I can draw women way better than I can draw men. <laughs> really? Okay, I like what you're doing here. And uh, is there a place where I can see your artwork? Do you have it on Twitter, or do you have like a, a Deviant Art page or anything like that? Uh, just Twitter. Yeah, you can follow. So I I post my drawings on Twitter. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna peek around. You're an amazing right raven. Just yesterday or the day before. Did what? The raven you did. It was amazing. I was just saying that, like that. Oh, wasn't that oh, thank you. Some amazing talent, man. Uh, mm -hmm. All throughout this community, yeah. Yeah. I see it every day. Yes. I just subscribe to God's channel. Oh, look at this, Pablo! This is looking great, brother. And there's Niobe hanging out with Skunk Girl. Yeah, they're up to no good. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I'll catch up on the chat. Um, Lorenzo says I'd post the link, but I'm not a mod. Uh, Abe says nice ship. That was when we were going through the art. Um, and DeWolf says that Eric Weathers is amazing. Uh, DeWolf says sounds good, Niobe. That was back when um, they were you were talking about doing a stream together. Mm -hmm. um, Lorenzo says I would share the link if I were a mod. Uh, the wolf man scream says scream with a friend question mark. What a cool perk uh, Lorenzo says I like that perk. It would be nice if there were a perk like that, but with the two posters as well And we're all caught up And the link was put into the chat <laughs> All right, who kicked me? Out? Was it was it Rizy? He kicked me out. Well, I didn't <laughs> kick you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I think only you can't kick people when you're just a guest. I know I'm making a joke, right? Oh well, I was <laughs> trying to like ruin it. <laughs> Let me see what's, what's Cat doing. Oh, look at Cat! I just lost forty pounds immediately. <laughs> 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 I want to check my own campaign to see if it's gone up at all. What is your campaign called? It's Avani Origins number one. It's not on Indiegogo, though. It's on Kickstarter. Hey, 
have you ever tried doing in Indiegogo? No, no, I never tried Indiegogo. I mean, for the like, I've been doing this for like five years now. So, like, long before I even knew what Comicscape was, you know, I, I was on on Kickstarter. So that's just kind of where people know where to find the book now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what is the uh, what is it called again? I'm in the search parameters. It's called uh, Vani Origins Number One. I could just put the link in the chat because I do have moderator status, at least for one night. Oh, here it is. Boom. And oh, she's nice, the villain nice. from our. Oh, you're almost. Online. You're almost backed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're almost back. I figure by the end of the week we we should probably hit goal if we're lucky. Uh, Lorenzo says there's no link. You posted cat's link, Manny, not tails <laughs> from beyond the gate. Thanks for promoting me. <laughs> the link um, and the wolf says, sports. "Hi, John. Looks like we need a book and poster perk, like at Lorenzo. Um, Slay stack of Golf City suggested. Suggests. Hey, John, do you want a cigarette in your mouth? Uh, nah, that's all right. Okay. Everybody's gonna re want a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people trying to get, convince me to run the next campaign on Indiegogo, and I'm strongly considering it. Can you put the link in for the book, uh, Naomi, please? Uh, for which book? Uh, Tales from Beyond the Gate. Yeah, let me just look it up. It's a bitch and a half for me to do it. No, um, I'll do it. I don't know how it's weird. Have to use my cover, my brother. Have to use my stylist and have to go freaking use control C, control V, and all this freaking other crap. This is why you pay me the big bucks, Manny. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Hope fire is back. Oh, my lord. Yeah, I was just about to say, she's still laughing. <laughs> What kind of drama? He says I went up four subs now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! Who did she bother tonight? Because she wasn't going to bother me tonight. <laughs> Lorenzo says thanks. Now you'll be comic. Oh no worries, man. No worries. So is the comic drawn like this? This this woman on the on the left, uh, like traditional or is it uh, like a chibi book uh you mean my project <clears throat> yeah yeah so, so my project the, the cover art is done by rb white who's done work for action lab comics like zombie tramp dollface and, and books like that and xenoscope the interior art is uh, not chibi it's done by a guy named steve Ballou, who's a, a french canadian artist here in northern new brunswick and then the chibis are just something cute that we hand out to kids for prints and stuff because you know the the actual material might be a little bit too Who's sexy for him, <laughs> you know what I mean? I see. But there's no nudity in the book, um, nothing like that at all. You just have shame. Sex. Oh. Yeah, no, I mean, like, you know, I think you can read it and just be fine with it, but I wouldn't give it to like, a 10 year old kid because there is strong language that's in the book. I heard I don't know. That. It kind of sounds like you forgot what it means to be a 10 year old kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the thing is, is I get like, you know, parents that come up to me and they ask me if the book is safe for the kids. And I'm like, well, I said, you know, and I'll, I'll always explain to them, there's no nudity. But I said, there is a bit of violence and there's a bit of swearing. If you're okay with that, you know, that's up to you. But... Cool. Oh. And so this story here follows uh, the origins of Avani, who's a, a villain from my main series called Niobe. And this is, uh, you know, we learn what makes her tick, how she got her powers, why she's acting the way she does, you know, how come she's a villain, you know, who pissed her off, and what she plans to do next sort of thing. So we've done four issues of Niobe. This is our first spinoff book. And in the fifth installment of Niobe, she'd come around May or June. I'm hoping May. Cat, you should put me a high collar. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Why do you want a high collar? Because it looks more badass. <laughs> You're an ass collar. Oh, do you want like a leather jacket? 
You have an ascot. I don't want to look like Dice Clay. <laughs> yeah, the hill went up the hill. <laughs> oh, what was that? You remember that video game Rival Schools? Anybody? No, I barely. Like I kind of remember the name. Like, I mean, let me look it up here. Ooh, the lolly. While you're looking it up, I want to show you guys something. I want to show you the next cover for Niobe. This is done by Paul Green and Ula Moss. And so they're pretty big name, big pro names in the industry right now. They do a lot of work like Lady Death and stuff like that. All right, you see this guy here? Hayahato right here? Oh. That's what I want to look like. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, right here. And then instead of that, instead of that, that soy leaf he has right there, put a cigarette. Soy leaf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. This is this cover. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Is. So again, that's done by Paul Green, and the colors are done by Ula Moss. And you know, they 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 both work pro in the industry uh, for lots of different companies. Um, I discovered Paul through Zenoscope, like Grim Fairy Tales. Had him do a couple of commissions for me. Then I asked him if he would actually, you know, do actual work for me on the book as as in a cover. Uh, not a problem. Ula Moss, she's just like famous for her her work as, as a colorist. Like she's all over the place. Okay. And so they, they often team up together and they put that together for me. And so I'm hoping, you know, we're gonna launch our next campaign on that on that cover. <laughs> you know. Yeah, this hair is her hair is sweet, man. Yeah. Yeah, it looks cool. I've been sitting on this cover for like over six months. <laughs> oh, that's got to be brutal. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a cool artist. Uh, it's actually the newest Niobe going to look like a, like a Japanese anime sort of style. She's a manga artist. And it's, uh, it's going to be full color. Like previously, we've done all our books in black and white. But the next issue is going to be in color. So it's going to be really cool. Cool. Yeah, the wolf says, Oodalali, what a day. I hear you, brother. <laughs> what well, was so good about your day, D Wolf? <laughs> Made it to the end without dying? <laughs> well, that's always a good day. Yeah. You know, whenever you wake up, that's a good sign, you know? Any, any day above ground is good day. Wait, did you want your color popped up? Is that what you meant? Uh, yeah, I don't know how you, I, I think that you were drawing me in, in like a t-shirt maybe, I don't know. Yeah, Jones? before you, you were kind of in, I was take. I was going off the picture. Yeah, pop yeah. that collar, yeah. Pop it up? Okay. Like a frat boy, yeah. <laughs> okay. The collar is a poofy shirt. Yeah, give me a fancy shirt and an ascot. Poofy shirt and an ascot, go for it. I wore a mascot when I got married. When I got it was actually pretty cool. What was that you were saying, uh, Naomi? I said you got 22 thumbs up right now, sir. Cool. The bad part is I never asked for it. I'm, I know it's everybody. That's the bad part? I don't get it. Because. You go into all these other people's channels, they're always asking, oh, make sure you hit the thumbs up and all this other stuff. I know oh, you're another Manny with a humble brag. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll ask for you. Guys, if you haven't thumbs up this video yet, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. It does matter in the YouTube algorithm. The more thumbs up and more engagement these videos get, the more YouTube takes notice and gives them a little push. Mm, I didn't know that. It's mm. true. Yeah. <laughs> Never did ask for them. <laughs> I mean, even thumbs down will still help you with the algorithm. I mean, it, it does, yeah. yeah. Oh, then I need to get Pope Fire in my show more often. <laughs> Model 316 says, I'm holding my thumb back. Want to see how this plays out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Let me go see. I'm supposed to have a private meeting with, with, with Model. Let me go see if he's ready. <laughs> Wait, what kind of uh, 
What kind of jacket did you did you say again? Or shirt? Uh, I I didn't say. Oh, uh, I thought you did. Never mind. Poofy, I guess. Yeah. Poofy. Right here. Right, give me, give me a, give me. Yeah, he's like the gym coach. This guy in the video game. Give me, a, give, me give me one of these uh, Adidas jackets here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I used to have one of these back in like when I was break dancing. You're break dancing? Yeah. Hell yeah, I used to break dance. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect that. <laughs> like, because at first I wanted to learn how to sea walk, right? Let's see. So I was like, uh, crip walk. Like that, uh, you know, I'm a '90s kid. So I grew up in the during, during the '90s rap, so I wanted to learn how to sea walk like Dub C or Ice Cube, you know. Yeah, yeah, he knows all about the Public Enemy and the NWA and the Run DMC. Yeah, yeah. So I had my, uh, I hate Run DMC though. <laughs> <laughs> so I had my 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 uh, my track suit. Remember and the my, fat boys? My Adidas. I remember the fat boys from back in the day. I'm old too, man. <laughs> Used to break out a big cardboard box, start break dancing. Got a buddy of mine who could beat box. That's what his thing was. Like, uh, did you? Who taught you? Um, nobody really, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> you kind of learn stuff when you're in school with other people, I guess. Hmm. The internet wasn't really a big, big thing when I was in high school. How good were you? Were you just like amateur? Oh, terrible. My my oh. sea walk was my sea walk was on point, but uh, my break dancing was weak, man. Wait, I'm looking with. I'm gonna look up what sea walking is. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, to catch up on the chat, I see Mrs. JTS is in there, and she says, uh, "Show cat a sea walk video." So, do you have videos of it, John? Do you? Of myself? No. No. Oh. Damn, I wanted to say that. Yeah, that was, that was kind of fun there for a second. That, Rizy, aren't you learning how to uh, pole dance from Reyes Carsica? Well, he won't send the video. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Every time I see him in the chat, I'm like, yo, sexy Ray, where's that video? Rizy, you pole dance? Damn, son. No, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. He joins, he joins the housewives that do it for exercise. Exactly. Oh, Lord. Exactly. Made some really uh, nice lights there. Can't yeah, tease me like that, Rizzy. Come on. Well, when I get it good enough, I'll start filming it. All right. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Lorenzo says I already thumbed up the stream as usual. Uh, Lorenzo says John Dillard, the B boy. Model says you guys are surprised Dillard breakdanced. Um, and then Lorenzo <laughs> says, DMC was great. Model says, of course he did. And Abe says, Dago session. I guess that's more dancing. And beatboxing is cool. Oh, man. My brother used to beatbox all the time. It drove me up the wall. I mean, it's not bad. I don't hate it. But it's just when you, it's all you can hear in your house, like 24-7. It's like, <laughs> um, I've got to put headphones in. It's okay. I'm from like the generation where uh, screamo was supposed to be cool. So my sister yeah. listened to that shit all the time throughout all my teen years, and I hated it. Hello. All right, there you go. I, I put a link in the private chat here. This is a this is sea walking. If you were if you were confused, I'm gonna have to check this out. All right. And this is a, I think this is Dub C C walking to the song uh, Gutter gutter shit which is a fantastic song by the way if you guys don't know it <laughs> so what should i draw i want to draw something oh you should draw me i uh <laughs> profile picture yeah, send, send me send me a send me a real picture <laughs> <laughs> John's, gonna draw, John's gonna start up his own stream and draw because we're gonna start we're gonna shut this one down um i'm done <laughs> well that looks bloody brilliant um manny and you too pablo and yours too uh cat can't wait to see that finished that's it I'm, I'm only 70 79 80 percent tonight I'm, I'm not feeling it i just want to get on here and and draw some stuff me for two hours or so and we're coming on three hours almost so it's time to for me to just go hit the hit the sack 
So let's go down the line and see who's here. And John, where can we find you? Are you going to start up a stream? Uh, yes, I am going to start up a stream, and you can find me on that stream. What you have to do, though, is you have to uh, you have to go to my channel, John Dillard Gaming the System, and uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. That way, you get notified when I go live. All right, Cat. Uh, yeah, you can find me on Twitter under Chat Sauvage, and the link is in, uh, I believe someone threw up the link in chat before. So, yeah, yeah, I did throw up the link. All right, uh, Pablo? Yes, you can find me on Twitter, on Facebook, uh, here on YouTube, at Pablo Romero Art. Cool. Uh, Niobe? LP? And he's not here. <laughs> Risey. <laughs> um, well, you can find me occasionally over at Niobe's channel. And um, he does some awesome streams over there. And he's got another one called Rebel Gaming, where I, I've done a video with him on uh, wrestling. And you can find me pretty much on everyone's shows that send me a link. And I love all you guys. And uh, that's about it. Hey, don't forget to go check out Avani's Origins, number one comic book on Kickstarter as well. <laughs> Yeah, you, know, you guys go over to check on check up on uh, Niobe Comics. Uh, go, go check on Larry's stuff. Larry, you there? Are you not there? If you're not there. I mean, there was links. there's links in the in the chat, and go check him out. And he'll be on he'll be on again, and we'll be on his show hopefully Thursday night, which will be awesome. Uh, I am Manny from Good Dog Press, and thank you for coming and sharing the night with me. Sorry, I'm not up to speed. I'm feeling under the weather, but I just wanted to get out here and, and talk with you guys for this week. Next week, I'll be on blackout. I will not be here. I'll, I'll be gone for a whole week. Yay. But I'll, I'll try to be in some somebody's chat. So until tomorrow, same time, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern, I'll see you guys there. Thank you for coming. Aloha. Bye. 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 Okay, we're all.